Neighborhood Grocers. Quality, variety, and value. Hey, LA County, Freddie Freeman here. Did you know six billion bottles and cans go unrecycled every year? That's a foul ball. We all need to practice the four R's. Reduce, reuse, recycle, and rethink. By recycling cans and bottles and even better, choosing reusable containers over single use, we can keep our communities clean, reduce the amount of waste going to local landfills, and cut back on harmful greenhouse gases. To find a recycling center near you, check out cleanla.com. Get Spectrum One and catch the Los Angeles Dodgers all season. Stream over 140 live L.A. Dodger games on all of your devices on us. Tons of hits, wins, memorable moments, and more. It's a real home run. Live Dodger games. That's a $149 value now included with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com slash Dodgers for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Subject to national exclusivities. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Hey, this is Adrian Gonzalez. Daniel's Jewelers is a proud sponsor of the trip around the diamond and your family jeweler since 1948. Mention Home Run at any of their stores to receive a free team bracelet and $50 off any purchase of $99 or more. And don't forget, everyone is approved for credit at Daniel's. So visit danielsjewelers.com now to find the nearest store. Own the dream with Daniel's Jewelers. by Gratterall. With a bubbly personality and a devastating pitch mix, Brewstar Gratterall has emerged as a key fixture in the Dodger bullpen. Coming off a breakout 2023 season, Bazooka is getting the bobblehead treatment. Join us Saturday, April 13th at 6.10 p.m. against the San Diego Padres when the first 40,000 fans will take home the first ever Brewstar Gratterall bobblehead. Presented by Yamaha Resort and Casino at San Manuel. For tickets and more information, visit Dodgers.com slash promotions. Tune to Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 all year long, all year long to hear expert opinions and analysis from former players, coaches, and executives. Dodgers and Cubs from Chicago. Bobby Miller on the mound. First pitch coming up at 1120. Dodgers baseball is presented by Children's Hospital LA. When you need the very best care for your child, one place to go, Children's Hospital Los Angeles, ranked number one in California for pediatric care. Find the right doctor at chla.org. Still to come, Rick and Tim will get you the keys to the game. I'll break down this pitchy matchup, but first... David Vasse. And now, what will likely be Vasse fielding insults from a Dodger player. It's an engagement of endearment. This is high and tight. We're in Chicago at Wrigley Field, so I had to get with my guy, Kike Hernandez, who had uh, special moments here, especially in 2017. But it's 2024, and he's still going strong with a great beanie that his teammates are jealous of. So thanks a lot for the time, Kike. Yeah, you didn't really give me much of an option, did you, huh? <laughs> well, I appreciate you remembering from Wednesday that I wanted to talk to you here. I didn't, but Juan told me, so I was <laughs> like, all right, I guess so. Let's do it. Hey, you know I'm sentimental, so I had to talk to you here. When you come here, even with the Red Sox, do you feel the vibes from that game in 2017, Game 5 of the NLCS? Yeah, um, that's one of those things that, you know, stays with you for the rest of your career. Um Special moment like that. Uh, first big playoff game for me, uh, playoff performance. Um, it kind of changed my mentality from there on to I can do this in October. And uh, my October career has been very different since that day. And, um, you know, Wrigley, Chicago is probably my favorite road city to come to. I really love playing in, in Wrigley even before I had that game in the NLCS. But, uh, yeah, that that uh, that one day kind of, you know, it's one of those days that you can. It sounds like a cliche, but it kind of changes your life in the sense of you know uh, the way you see things. And uh, yeah, it's hard not to think about it. Before that game, you let me take a picture of your hat because it was an emotional game for you with the hurricane in Puerto Rico. I still have that picture in my phone. So all of that just came together. Yeah, there's a, other things. Uh, uh, that had to do with uh, with my hat and things like that, but uh, it was uh, it was uh, I was playing a, I was playing that postseason where with a very heavy heart. Obviously, uh, my island was going through a lot. It was there was a lot of suffering going on back there, and um, a lot of uncertainty for myself, for my wife's family, 
not being able to, you know, communicate on a daily basis with our families and, and know what was going on. Uh, it was definitely tough, but at the same time, it, 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 it was in, in a weird way, it helped me lock it in and focus even more. And um, it kind of, it kind of gave me a new perspective on, on, on focus and, and things that I struggled with in the past before that. And, um, you know, I'm just, uh, obviously it was a very special night and we were able to, to, to clinch a, a World Series berth that night and, uh, you know, give Kirsch the run support that he deserved on that one night so he can have that, that night as well to, you know, to win, win, a, win a game to take us to the, to the World Series. And, uh, yeah, obviously things didn't end the way we wanted to that year in the World Series. But, uh, you know, it was a very special team, very special playoff mm-hmm. run as well. 2017, my favorite Dodger team, and Kike Hernandez was a big part of it. And when you talk about learning about yourself during that postseason, I'm curious at this stage of your career, how have you evolved to maintain and be better than what you were even then? Yeah, I mean, it's about uh, baseball is a game of failure. A lot of uh, it's a, you, you learn new things every single day, and and I think the the people that uh, overcome adversity and things like that are the thing the people that learn from their mistakes and uh, you know every time you make a mistake on the baseball field you, you hope to learn from it so that it never happens again and uh, you know at that point for me it was I never really had a big playoff game or anything like that so uh, the confidence that you know you could do it in a, in a stage like that is, is huge for, for a player and um, obviously I've had a lot of you know big moments since that since that night and uh, it's, it's what I have. That's why Andrew Friedman brought me back again. That's why you can't live without me. Hey, Kiki, before I let you go, in this cold weather, you're not in the starting lineup. So when you're called upon, how do you stay warm and stay ready? Uh, I'll probably be spending a lot of time in the weight room. <laughs> uh, I usually I work out every day, but uh, today I just did a little bit of a, a warm-up and I hit in the cage to you know to get loose. But uh, I'll probably be doing my, warm, my workout during the game to – you know, try my best to stay warm and be ready for, for when that, if, if my name gets called upon, because uh, they have two lefties in the bullpen and one of them throws very hard, so I need to make sure I'm ready for that. All right, Kike, thanks a lot for the time. Fans still love you, and like I said, hey, everybody, let's go, uh, Dodgers. You're one of those guys that uh, is part of the fabric of this team since you've been here, so always great to catch up with hey, you. Hey, make sure everybody votes in the field. poll. Who's thanks, going Dave, today? Let me know. Support the <laughs> we'll channel. Take it today. We'll send it back to you in the studio, the great Kike Hernandez, Tim. All right, thanks a lot, guys. We could all agree we love Shakey's Pizza Parlor, brought to you by the official pizza partner, the Dodgers Audio Broadcast. When it's game day, it's group day. At shakies.com. Thanks to Kike. As we Everybody, make sure pitch. you hit Dodgers that like button, hit really that subscribe button. And if you're Coming new, up next, we'll join the channel. This pitchy matchup. Don't go anywhere. I'm Tim Cates, this Los Angeles Dodgers Audio Network. The 2024 NBA postseason starts in just over a week, and Sirius XM NBA Radio brings you all the action. Slam dunk! Our experts break down every game. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Cover every storyline. Prove me wrong. Prove the people wrong. And bring you every can't-miss moment on the court. Every single night. He's going to fire up a three for the win! Your 24-7 home for hoops throughout the playoffs is Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 in the car. And on the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check and fly, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Oh, yes. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. 
The best amateur players in women's golf will compete in the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Rose Zhang is your Augusta National Women's Amateur Champion. Sirius XM is your exclusive home for this premier event in the world of golf. Coming into the event, I knew that this wasn't going to be an easy fight. Hear the Augusta National Women's Amateur tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern on PGA Tour Radio Channel 92 and NBC Sports Audio Channel 85. And then on Monday, Masters Radio returns on Channel 92 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Alexa. Did you know you can listen to this game on devices with Amazon Alexa? Download the Sirius XM app. Then tell me to play the Dodgers on Sirius XM. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Leading up to Dodgers and Cubs from Wrigley Field in Chicago. First pitch at 11:20. And now... Before the Dodgers hit the diamond, we look at the pitching matchup. Presented by your Southern California Toyota dealers. Turn your trail-dominating, off-roading dreams into reality in an all-new 2024 Tacoma. See your Toyota dealer today. They make it easy. Bobby Miller has made it look easy. The 25-year-old right hander Yes, he's 25 now. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday to him. He is 1-0 on the season. He grew up in McHenry, Illinois, about 50 miles northwest of Wrigley Field. He's a first-round pick at the Dodgers in 2020, making his second start this year. Last Last time out, six shutout innings. He allowed two hits while striking out 11 in a win over the Cardinals. Today is his first time ever facing the Cubs in his young career. He's facing a guy who's been around a long time. 34-year-old right-hander Kyle Hendricks. He's 0-1 with a 12-12 ERA in his 11th season in the big leagues, all with the Cubs. This is his uh, first start this year with three and two-third innings. He gave it five runs on nine hits while giving up a pair of home runs and a loss to the Texas Rangers against the Dodgers. His seventh career start. He's three and three with a 317 ERA. He's making his first start against the Dodgers since May of 2021 at Wrigley Field, where he went seven innings, allowed one run on seven hits, and struck out six. Bobby Miller, Kyle Hendricks, Dodgers, Cubs. We're 15 minutes away from first pitch. Keys to the game are next. I'm Tim Cates, Los Angeles Dodgers Audio Network. The greatest guitarist is Eddie Van Halen. What about Prince? You have to include Slash and Jimmy Page. B.B. King and Bonnie Raitt. The Edge changed everything. The debate continues with rebellious riffs and six string solos on the SiriusXM Guitar Greats channel. All hail International Guitar Month. SiriusXM Guitar Greats on channel 107 and year-round on the SiriusXM app. Get closer to everything that moves you, wherever you are. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check and fly, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car. And on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM, XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Hello, Dodger fans. I'm Jeff Snyder, host of your daily Los Angeles Dodgers podcast, Locked On Dodgers, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Locked On Dodgers brings you the latest Dodgers news and analysis and breaks down all the action. Locked On Dodgers is everything a Dodger fan could want, all in a 30-minute daily podcast. Download Locked On Dodgers right now on the SXM app, available with all trials and popular plans, or wherever you get your podcasts. Search Locked On Dodgers. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Dodgers and Cubs from Wrigley Field. Bobby Miller, Cal Hendricks. Hey, make sure everybody Cubs votes in the poll. Three. Who's going to win today? City Let me know. To Support the Monday, channel. Tuesday and Wednesday, Dodger fans, enhance your listening experience by downloading the iHeartRadio app and listening to Dodgers baseball in HD. Powered by LA Care Health Plan, serving all Angelinos, LA Care. Dot org. Before first pitch, let's head back out to the two guys calling the game today from Chicago, Rick Monday and Tim Neverett. 
Tim, thanks again here at Wrigley Field. Uh, the wind blowing in from left field. Bobby Miller makes the start his second of the season, and Kyle Hendricks will go for the Cubs. Hendricks' first start against the Texas Rangers didn't go as he had hoped. He only went three and two-thirds and allowed five earned runs, gave up a pair of home runs. He's looking to bounce back today, but from the pitcher's standpoint, on a windy day like today, how does it affect uh, a pitcher. Um, I, I don't think it affects the pitchers as much as it could with some of the hitters and particular the uh, the defensive uh, side of it as well. But I think if you're looking at Bobby Miller he had an interesting comment I thought after um, his outing against the uh, the Cardinals on Friday he was talking about his success was the fact that he went down and away to right handed batters not just with the fastball but also with the off speed pitch and that was a very big pitch of course a career high with 11 strikeouts in that game as well for Bobby Miller we're going to find out today does he have the good change up working does he have the good fastball and can he pinpoint his location well in his first outing against the Cardinals he held the Cardinals to 0 for 10 against the slider and change up combination. So when it wasn't just a straight fastball which he threw 42 percent of the time he was getting them with the off speed stuff and with spin. Yeah and as far as Hendrick goes he needs to set up and get ahead early in the count. Why very good change up did not have it particularly well Saturday against the Rangers. He went just three and two thirds innings gave up five earned runs on nine hits and two of those hits were hit out of the ballpark. Windy day at the friendly confines in the north side of Chicago. Dodgers seven and two Cubs four and two lineups and first pitch just around the corner. All right. Don't forget when this one is over. David Vassay's got you covered with all the postgame highlights and postgame reaction from the clubhouse. It's the Dodgers and Cubbies from Chicago. First pitch is next. I'm Tim Cates. It's been Morongo Casino. Dodgers on deck on the Los Angeles Dodgers Audio Network. Now streaming LA Dodgers baseball. Now the 3 2. Her ball swung on and missed strike three. Line drive one. Oh, what a stab by Freddie Freeman at first. Deep to right center. Back it goes. It is off the top of the wall. Here comes Taylor around third, and the Dodgers win it. Line drive right field. The Dodgers walk it off. The Dodgers win it. The birthright of a legend. Bad damn, kiss the ring, show reverence. This has been Morongo Casino Dodgers on deck. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa, the MVP for fun, food, and good times. Budweiser. This Bud's for you. First Five California. Helping kids reach their full potential. Security benefit. To and through retirement. And L.A. Care. For all of L.A. I can't lose. I'm a believer. I'm going to change the world. And give them hell till they believe us. There is not stopping. There is no rebuilding. Every year, it's a relentless pursuit of a title. First pitch is moments away on the home of the blue. We're going to change the world. Yeah. The LA Dodgers Audio Network. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all new Sirius XM app. Streaming LA Dodgers baseball. It's the main event. The Dodgers have officially become the new yeah. evil empire. Yeah. Otani, you have Mookie yes. Betts, you have Freddie Freeman. This can't be happening, but it is. LA is rejoicing right now. Holy yeah. crap, as they say. Here we go, it's the main event. Holy crap. It's about time, let them know. This is LA Dodgers baseball. This is the main event in Los Angeles sports. A slam, slam. LA Dodgers baseball is brought to you by Ford. Built Ford Town. L.A. County Public Works. Recycling beverage containers is a triple play. Jacoby and Myers. Justice for you since 1972. Coffee hot dogs. A SoCal treasure. Local, original, great. Navi and Tankless water heaters. For endless hot water, visit tanklessmadesimple.com. And by Galpin Motors. Here we go, it's showtime. <laughs> The season is here. This is Jorge Harrin for Chef Marito Seasoning, the official seasoning of the Dodgers. For the past several years, you've heard me talk about carne asada, fish, chicken, and steak seasonings. But have you tried the over 20 varieties of the other seasonings? If not, you're missing out on the chance to bring out the chef in you. From breakfast to lunch and dinner, Chef Marito Seasonings is great with any meal. It's not a true Mexican meal without Chef Merito. Available at your local grocery store. It's the bottom of the ninth. The game's on the line, and your small business needs a loan. 
fast. Go to OnDeck.com, the small business lender trusted by thousands of business owners. With OnDeck, you can apply in minutes, and if approved, get your funds as soon as the same day. Go to OnDeck.com. Your loan is on deck. Depending on certain loan attributes, your business loan may be issued by OnDeck or Celtic Bank. Limited eligibility for same-day funding. OnDeck does not lend in North Dakota. All loans subject to lender approval. We're taking requests at Argo Radio, the only station that's a gas station. I'm your host, Hannah the Dashboard Hula Girl. Hi, I'd like to dedicate a song to the other gas stations. I'm sorry? Well, I've stopped going to them since I discovered Arco's quality gas at lower prices. So this is my farewell. Oh, right. Other stations, this one's for you. <laughs> I'm not crying, you're crying. Arco, quality top tier gas for less. Savings based on independent retail price survey. See arco.com for details. Learn more at toptiergas.com. today at carsforkids.org. That's cars with a K. Your car can be picked up as soon as the next day. Receive a tax deduction and vacation voucher. 1877 cars for kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Sirius XM's 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show. Experts from NFL Radio, College Sports Radio, and Fantasy Sports Radio analyze the top prospects in the NFL Draft, covering each player's time in college and how they'll transition to the National Football League. Romadute! Touchdown, Washington! The Sirius XM Sports 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show, Wednesday night at 7 Eastern on College Sports Radio Channel 84 and NFL Radio Channel 88. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check and fly, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yes! Yeah. While you're listening to this game on Sirius XM, we're talking about the latest odds and prop bets for this and, and every game. game on Sports Grid Radio. The under's minus 125. Heavy juice to the under. Every home run hit and every strikeout thrown can change the line. I can't for the life of me figure out how you can favor a team that never wins, ever. If you're looking for sports talk centered around the latest odds and prop bets for games, races, tournaments, or any sporting events, Sports Grid Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 159. He says... Galpin Ford has been number one for 29 years in a row, but the road to number one began in 1946 when Galpin opened its doors in San Fernando. The showroom held three vehicles, and 46 were sold that first year. Just a few years later, in 1957, Bert Bachman was promoted to general manager due to his devotion to serving the customer. He wanted to help clients purchasing the vehicle of their choosing, and Galpin continues to service customers the way they want to be served today. Be part of the Galpin story. It all starts at galpin.com. Let's go to the Galpin Motors broadcast booth. And now your voices of the L.A. Dodgers. Rick Monday and Tim Neverett. Live from the Windy City and is living up to its history. Hi, everybody. Rick Monday alongside Tim Neverett and with producer engineer Dwayne McDonald as we get set to go. This is a bundle up and stay warm day in spite of the fact there is bright sunshine here at Wrigley Field. So for the Dodgers they come on seven wins and two losses and this road trip will take them to two well cities that are less than warm right now Chicago the first start and then they will be over in Minneapolis to face the twins after the completion of this one on a Sunday. So this Dodger ball club set to go Cubs have taken the field and here's Dave Roberts starting lineup Mookie Betts the hottest hitter in baseball leading it off at shortstop batting second and the designated hitter Shohei Otani. 
Freddie Freeman is at first base. Will Smith behind the plate doing the catching. Batting fifth and playing at third, Max Muncy. Teoscar Hernandez starts in right field. James Outman is in center. In left field, Chris Taylor and Gavin Lux batting ninth and doing the catching in the birthday boy. It is Bobby Miller celebrating his 25th birthday on the mound, victorious in his first start. That was against the St. Louis Cardinals last Friday. And for Miller, very consistent and a career high 11 strikeouts in that game. Kyle Hendricks going for the Cubs, the right hander. He was pounded by the Rangers last Saturday in three and two thirds innings, gave up five earned runs on nine hits, and a couple of those hits were hit out of the ballpark. The umpiring assignments, Laz Diaz will work the plate. He'll call the balls and strikes. Mike Esterbrook is at first. Eric Bacchus umpiring at second. And Tom Hanahan is over at third base. The wind blowing in from left field towards the right field corner very briskly at 14 miles an hour. So is indeed a bundle up and stay warm day for both the Dodgers and the Cubs. For game two of this series tomorrow, and we'll join you at high noon Pacific time with the Rongo Casino Dodgers on deck show. First pitch at 105. It'll be Ashinubo Yamamoto on the mound for the Dodgers in search of his first victory of the season. Happy to have you with us. Game one of three Dodgers and the Cubs from Wrigley Field. And with the play, here's Tim. Thanks, Ma. And they have bundled up. Mookie Betts heading to the plate. He's got the. Uh, a black sweatshirt on underneath his game uniform and the hood is sticking out the back. Dodgers in their traveling road grays Dodgers across the chest and the Cubs in their home white pinstripes with the Cub logo on the left side of the chest and looks like Kyle Hendricks may have the pitch comm device on his belt and might be communicating with the catcher that way so he's ready to go. And sunshine, bright blue skies. That wasn't the way it was when we got here today, but it is now. And we are just underway with the first pitch of the ball game, and Mookie takes a strike. Game began at 1.20 Central Time, 11.20 on the West Coast. 42 degrees the game time temperature. There was a 35-degree wind chill. Time and temp brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Outside corner for a strike, and it's 0-2 to Betts. 485 the average for Mookie five home runs 11 runs batted in saw a TV graphic today it just said Mookie leads Major League Baseball in everything pitch outside and they wouldn't be lying because he does lead baseball in pretty much every category offensively standing it from the right side Shohei Otani on deck and Hendricks ahead in the count one and two he winds kicks delivers and Mookie chases one outside. He strikes out, and that's the first out of the ball game. Well, Hendricks is not overpowering. It's less than 90 miles an hour, and he's going to stay away from right-handed batters. Exactly what he did every pitch to Mookie Betts, including the chase at what would have been a ball outside. Shohei, up after hitting his first home run, got that one out of the way on Wednesday night against the Giants. Came in the seventh inning, a 430-foot blast. He takes outside ball one. This is the very first time he has played a game at Wrigley Field. There are two other ballparks he hasn't played in. Nationals Park in D.C. and PNC Park in Pittsburgh. Swing and a miss. And it is one and one to Otani. And Ricks with a very good changeup, and he's already shown it. It's been on display. Now the fastball is not overpowering. It's in the upper 80s typically. 1-1 one, one pitch. Swing and a line shot to left center field. That's going to get down, split the outfielders, and roll to the Ivy. Around first and into second with a one-out double is Shohei Otani. It is his fourth double of the season. The Dodgers with a man in scoring position and one out. And Henders tried to go away. Otani went with it. You know, it's short alleys at 368 in left center and right center, 400 straight away center field. And it's 350 plus down both lines, 355 to left, 353 to right. Freddie Freeman up. He's been terrific also. He's been on base in half of his plate appearances. Left handed batter takes outside ball one. And fastball at 88, and for Hendricks. 
He averaged 88.4 miles per hour in his last outing, which was his first outing at Texas. And he hasn't averaged 88 with his fastball since 2016 when he won the ERA title in the National League. So his fastball velocity is up just a little bit. One ball and one strike to Freddie Freeman. 12 for 40 on the season, 375 average, seven runs batted in. He does have a home run. And the pitch cut on and missed. Dodgers in that familiar area. You look at the last homestand with runners in scoring position. The Dodgers had 62 different at bats with scoring opportunities. They hit 355. Stretched by Hendricks, Otani leads at second and a 1 2. And Freeman looks at it outside. It was another changeup. He went back to back on the changeup. And now the count two balls and two strikes. Well, he can also make that changeup move a different directions, in particular to right handed batters. It's like a almost a changeup cutter goes away from them. Set at the belt. Comes home and Freddie swings and cues it foul out of play down the third base side. Now, if you're a fan of the stands at Wrigley today, the third base side is where you want to be. Number one right now, if you're down low near the dugout, you're in the sunshine. But you're not going to be hit in the face with the wind like you will be on the first base side. It's out of the north, 14 miles per hour. Pretty stiff wind today. Freddie fouls this pitch right back to the backstop. Yeah, the, the trade-off is going to be, Tim, is that the right side of the stands down the first base line will eventually be in sunshine and the Left field line will be in shadow, so it's a trade off. You have to be strategic about where you yeah, buy your tickets. Either you're here. comfortable early or late. Two balls, two strikes. Otani off second. The pitch to Freddie is outside, and the count full three and two. Freeman waiting. Some of the players talking about the cold weather today saying, you know, it's not so bad when you're in the dugout because they've got heaters in there. Swing and a foul back. And Freddie made a good point. He said, you know, game's going to be two and a half hours. So if we hit for an hour and a half and only defend for an hour, it's not going to be that bad. Dodgers did not hit on the field today. They stayed indoors, the batting cages. They did come out and take early infield practice. Well, one out, Otani at second. Hendricks deals. And it's in the dirt ball four and Freddie heads down to first base. He draws a walk two on and one out for Will Smith. How many times we talk about in spring training that Messrs Smith and Muncie Muncie's on deck. These two guys in one two in this order had the most advanced players in square position than any other two players in baseball. Off to a good start hitting everybody let's go Dodgers. His first home run, seven runs batted in. Might be a little tough for right-handers to yank one out of here today with the wind blowing in straight from left. And Will takes a strike. It was a two-seam fastball. Will, one of four Dodger hitters that have never faced Hendricks before, Otani, Smith, Hernandez, and Outman have not faced him. Two on, one out. Hendricks pitch. And Will hits a drive to left field. It's going to head toward the corner, and the wind's got it. And it is off the glove of Ian Happ, the left fielder. Otani will pull into third. He had to wait to make sure it was uh, going to be in an error where he could tag up. But because it looked like Ian Happ had a chance, the wind played tricks on it. He was not able to catch it. Now the bases are loaded. Try to come inside to Will Smith and hit the ball. We mentioned the uh, the infield and outfield catch it by committee. The other part too is the sun, and you figure that Ian Happ lost that ball in the sun after fighting the wind. Freddie Freeman was almost past Shohei Otani at second base. Wisely, he was able to hold up. That'll be a single for Will Smith. Max Muncy with the bases loaded takes a strike. That is a uh, a charitable single. We've seen it called different ways. When you can tell that the players having difficulty seeing the ball in the sun, it's a Mother Nature signal. Single. Well, the solar eclipse isn't for a couple of more days. Yeah, tell half that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Max Muncy. Otani at third. 
Freddie Freeman at second Will Smith at first base from the top of the first inning Hendricks deals and Max lets it go for strike two looked at a changeup. Oscar Hernandez on deck well, the Dodgers really would love to capitalize here both teams on four game win streaks. Dodgers seven and two the Cubs four and two. Hendricks one ball two strike offer and Muncie way out in front of a changeup strikes out. Well that's the key at bat right there one out and the base is loaded. And now to Oscar Hernandez up with two down and the base is full. Very seldom is Hendricks going to throw the fastball by you and just absolutely shock you unless you're looking for the changeup. So Teoscar needs some contact here. He has been very productive and it's going to be that way with Teoscar. Just the kind of hitter that he is. He does strike out a lot. But he also hits a lot. And he takes a strike here. Started him with a fastball. The fastball primarily has been the two seamer. Now, almost as many sinkers as he has four seam fastballs today. The regular fastball. Here's the pitch. And that's outside and high. One ball, two strikes to Teoscar Hernandez. Teoscar starts the day 257, four home runs, second on the club. 10 RBIs, also second on the club. Teoscar had two hits last time out on Wednesday against the Giants. And the pitch swings, fouls it back. That's two strikes. Combs, one of those catchers that, that might try and decoy. A hitter knowing if he's going to set up inside or outside. My point being, that time he set up early outside and then shifted inside to try and jam the hitter. Ball and two strikes to Teosca Hernandez. Bases full of Dodgers. The pitch in the dirt. So Teosca with a two ball, two strike count. Sunshine, bright blue skies. We can see the, the waves cresting on Lake Michigan from where we sit over the right field wall. Now the pitch. And that's outside. I think about 30,000 thought that was a strike. And now the count is full. Teoscar wants time, and Laz Diaz, the umpire, gives it to him. Laz, the crew chief, also. So the runners will go with this pitch. Be surprised if this is not a changeup. Can't go looking for it. You've got to protect the plate now with two strikes. The payoff pitch to Hernandez. Swings and he drives it up the middle of base hit. Shohei scores. Here comes Freddie around third. He'll score. It's 2 nothing Dodgers. A two out, two run single for Teoscar Hernandez. And the Dodgers. Everybody, let's go, Dodgers. For some reason tried to sneak the fastball past a very good fastball hitter. The ball just came back over the plate. They were going for outside corner. Ball drifted back over the plate. Boy, did he hit it hard. And time for the first mound visit. As uh, Tommy Hotterby, the pitching coach for the Cubs, comes out of the third base dugout. The consultation on the mound is brought to you by Jacoby and Myers, the official law firm of the Dodgers. For a free consultation, call 1 800 5 million because everyone deserves justice. So with the runners on the move on the 3-2 pitch, Will Smith got from first to third. It's a, a good piece of base running. Typically, you're watching the guys who are coming around to score, but two outs, you got to watch the runner at first as well, and Will made it around second. So runners at the corners for James Outman. Outman left-handed batter. Two on, two out pitch. Outside ball one. It looks like James is getting a little closer. In other words, he's off to a slow start. 120 is his average. And 3 4 25, but he's been making some loud outs lately. And got a, a hit the other day against the Giants. Takes a change up for a strike. One ball and one strike to James. The other thing too is that uh, the first three or four games he was chasing a lot of pitches borderline pitches. He's getting a little bit more uh, well discerning eye now. Throw to first and Teoscar is back. And do you consider moving Teoscar here with two outs. First inning 
Well, Smith can get a huge lead because third baseman Vandergal is about 40 feet off the bag. And the pitch, James waves and misses at a changeup. He was out in front. And Hendricks with a super changeup. And send Hernandez here with two strikes. One two is the count stretched by Hendricks. Now the pitch there goes to Oscar. Ball is swung on popped up. This will be back of the plate. Looked like Amaya the catcher is having trouble finding it and it drops in safely in foul territory. A break for James Outman. Boy Gomes had trouble right off the bat to find the baseball. Could not see it. So there's been two balls hit in this inning that the Sun has been the Dodgers friend. And a one ball two strike pitch once again to Outman and he swings and misses at a changeup strikes out Dodgers leave two. they get to on three hits to Oscar Hernandez with the big hit early a two run single and after a half inning at Wrigley Field in Chicago. It's the Dodgers two and the Cubs coming to bat against Bobby Miller. The best amateur players in women's golf will compete in the Augusta National Women's Amateur. Rose Zhang is your Augusta National Women's Amateur Champion. Sirius XM is your exclusive home for this premier event in the world of golf. Coming into the event, I knew that this wasn't going to be an easy fight. Hear the Augusta National Women's Amateur tomorrow at 12 p.m. Eastern on PGA Tour Radio Channel 92 and NBC Sports Audio Channel 85. And then on Monday, Masters Radio returns on Channel 92 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87. Everybody, make and sure you hit that like button, XML. hit that subscribe button. Go to shumashcasino.com. I want that number on my spine. I'm like, I, I got that beast in my eyes. I'm like Tyson. With my heart and my drive, I know I'm righteous. Dodgers, too, comes to the plate for the first time. And Bobby Miller from Elk Grove Village, Illinois, 17 miles from where we sit here at Wrigley Field. He grew up a Cubs fan. He's never pitched against the Cubs before. And here he is. He's got 31 friends and family here watching him today. And Bobby's first pitch at Wrigley Field is on the way to Ian Happ, and that's in for a strike. Happ left-handed hitting left fielder. Well, Bobby coming off just an absolutely tremendous start. You could argue or you could just declare that his last start was his best of his career. Pitch outside as he just baffled the St. Louis Cardinals. Six innings, no runs, just allowed two hits and struck out a career-high 11. One ball and one strike to Ian Happ, the pitch. Way inside, backs him up. Bobby's 25th birthday today. So you don't blame him for being a little bit amped up. Pitching at home, pitching at his ballpark against the team he grew up watching. Swing and a miss at a 97 mile an hour fastball. And Happ with a two ball, two strike count. Bobby ready to go again. The right hander has the sign. Will Smith sets the target. There's the pitch. It's fouled back off to our left. Is it 98? Now he's just going to keep gripping it and ripping it today. Yeah, and yet we talk about the fact that a very advanced for hard thrower what he does to change it. Two two pitch. Swung on and missed strike three. It was a changeup. Yep. And half strikes out, and that's how Bobby Miller starts today. I thought that Miller also had a very interesting comment after the uh, the victory against the Cardinals. He was talking about pitching to right-hit batters, which you'll see right now. 
He says going down and away to right handed batters was really a big key to his last outing. Now it's Seiya Suzuki, right handed hitter. Suzuki, the right fielder. And it takes ball one, low and away. And fastball from Bobby. Bobby with a, a light blue leather glove. And he whips one home for a strike. He's got such great mound presence. Last year, when we finally saw him pitch in the big leagues, when he made his debut in May of last year against the Braves in Atlanta, he looked like he'd been there a whole lot. Curveball in for a strike. And he looked like he belonged in the big leagues. Just all the things about him. And he just keeps getting better and better. One two pitch to Suzuki. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Slider chased by Suzuki. And he's got two strikeouts, two down here in the bottom of the first. And there's that pitch we're talking about that gets right handed batters going down and away. So we've seen the fastball, check that off, 97 98. We've seen the changeup, check that off. We've seen the curveball and the slide. Cody Bellinger, the batter, the center fielder, signed late in spring training, one of a number of top level free agents that ended up signing late. Takes ball one, 1 0. Bellinger with a 208 average, one home run and six runs batted in. Curveball taken for a strike. One ball, one strike. And Cody's standing tall from the left side, looking out at Miller. Miller winds, kicks, fires, and it's low and away. Two and one. Well, there was a question as to where Cody would end up in this offseason, but the Cubs brought him back. 2 1 pitch swing and a miss he went after the fastball he was late 98 miles per hour that's where it's going to be all afternoon for Bobby Miller two balls and two strikes to Bellinger infield back outfield straight up and the 2 2 swing on and miss strike three Miller strikes out the side what a job by Bobby Miller as he has just been dynamite today. It's the second straight start in which he has struck out the side the first inning he has pitched. Three up, three down, all swinging for the Cubs. We go to the second inning. It's the Dodgers two, Cubs nothing. Hit this the Rock returns to the ring for WrestleMania 40, and Sirius XM's Busted Open is there to preview it all. Dave LaGreca, Tommy Dreamer, and our Hall of Famers Bully Ray and Mark Henry are in Philadelphia, breaking down all the angles. I'm acknowledging Roman Reigns. That is our tribal chief. I am acknowledging this historic day, as you should too, Dave. It's Busted Open, mornings at 9 Eastern on Sirius XM Fight Nation. Channel 156 on your radio, or listen anytime on the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track. Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check a fly, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car. And on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app. You gotta fight for your right. Kyle Hendricks back to work facing Chris Taylor and he drops a strike in on him with a sinker. Dodgers leading 2-0. Top of the second inning. The Oscar Hernandez, two out, two run base hit, scoring Otani and Freeman. Now Hendricks delivers another strike. Think about this, Mo. Four of the first 10 games, in fact, go back and shrink it up a little bit more, but through the first 10 games, we've seen Dodgers starting pitching strike out the side four times. 
Like when do you see that ever? I think actually you can take those uh, the games in Korea off the board. So let's see. Four times in the last eight, four times in the last seven games. There's a ground ball slowly hit towards short. Dansby Swanson charging. Sidearm flip over to first base, and Taylor is out. 6 3, the put out, one gone here in the top of the second inning. Top of the second is brought to you by Budweiser. This Bud's for you. Talking about the strikeouts, that last pitch to Cody Bellinger was at 99 miles an hour. Which is exactly what Bobby Miller averaged last year, 99. Gavin Lux, left-handed batter, takes on the outside corner for a strike. Now you got to figure Lux has some family friends here, being from Wisconsin, not all that far from where we are in the north side of Chicago. 0-1 pitch, and he lets it go high. One ball, one strike. Like this is uh, bus territory when the Brewers and Cubs play one another. Same thing when you're on the road and you happen to catch Milwaukee and Chicago on the same road trip. You bust in between the city. 1-1 one, one pitch, swing and a miss as he chased the changeup down low. One ball and two strikes. Lux from Kenosha, don't you know? Mookie Betts waiting on deck. And Kyle Hendricks squared up to the plate. The Cub right-hander peering in over the webbing of his glove. Now overhand wide in the pitch up high. Two balls and two strikes. And Hendricks using the pitch comm. He's got it on his right hip. He's wearing it on his belt. And he's telling the catcher what he wants to throw. Wind and the pitch on the way. It's another changeup and another swing and a miss. And another strikeout for the Dodgers. Fourth Dodger to strike out this afternoon. And uh, Hendricks has a pretty good changeup working today. I really think with the pitch con, with the pitcher being in control of it, it will also kind of uh, eliminate the time that it's going to take. In other words, he's not going to be. Hey, everybody, let's go, Dodgers. Pitcher. He's dictating the sign. Well, he so far has been relying on the changeup. 19 of those, 12 sinkers. Hey, everybody, let's go, Dodgers. Almost 50%. Changeups. And he starts Mookie Betts with a curveball. Betts for one. Struck down swing first time. Swings and pops this one up right side. Wins got it. It's carrying it into foul territory. First baseman Michael Bush from the Dodger farmhand makes the catch right up against the wall. And the Dodgers gone in order in the top half of the second inning. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left after an inning and a half. It's the Dodgers, two, Cubs, nothing. Medi-Cal renewals are happening now. All members' eligibility is reviewed once annually, and everyone's renewal date is different. You can check your renewal month in your online benefitscal.com account. If your current address, email, or phone number have changed, please update your information with your local county office. If you get a renewal form in the mail in a yellow envelope, you must complete it to keep your Medi-Cal. If you don't, you will lose your coverage. Visit lacare.org for more information. That's lacare.org. Everybody, make sure you hit that like button, that hit that subscribe play. button, Whoa. and if you're new, you join the channel. And watch them outgrow, well, everything. This shirt is way too small. But there's something else that can grow that we don't see. It's what doctors call toxic stress. It's how a child's body responds to difficult experiences, from harsh language to a painful loss. There are steps parents can take to help. Learn four things you can do to overcome toxic stress at first5california.com. Hello, friends. High fly ball to left center field. It's way back there, and it is gone. Home run. Hello Kitty Night returns to Dodger Stadium on Tuesday, April 16th at 7.10 p.m. when the boys in blue take on the Washington Nationals. Join your friends at the ballpark and get an exclusive Hello Kitty bag. This item will certainly bring a big smile. To make sure you bring home your Hello Kitty bag, head to dodgers.com slash ticket packs. Dodgers fans, Dave Roberts joins MLB Network Radio Fridays at 11.35 a.m. Pacific on Sirius XM 89 and the SXM app. And Wendy has stopped. Welcome back to Radio.
Wrigley Field on this chilly, windy Friday afternoon. Bobby Miller back up on top of the hill. Dodgers leading the Cubs 2-0. Bottom of the second inning, and Christopher Morrell hits a one-hopper to Mookie Betts at short. He'll throw to first. One pitch and one out as Morrell grounds out to Betts. Well, Cubs come into this uh, series, Tim, feeling pretty good about themselves. They've won four consecutive games, and in those four games, they've tallied 35 runs put up on the scoreboard. Well, they played the Rockies here, and they had some terrible weather to play through. One of those games went to extra innings, which the Cubs won. Now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson, looks at a ball whistled outside. One ball and no strikes. But they took care of business against the Rockies, sweeping them. One ball, no strike pitch from Miller to Swanson. Inside with a curveball, 2-0. Rockies have started out not like they wanted to. But uh, they don't have the worst start in Major League Baseball, that's for sure. 2 0 pitch is swung on, well hit left center field. And going back to the wall is Outman, it's gone. Dansby Swanson gets it just above the basket into the first row of the bleachers for his second home run of the season. And it is a 2 to 1 ball game. With that wind, again, it's 14 miles an hour. Blowing from the left field foul pole over towards the right field foul pole. So that's a, against a very strong crosswind. Some of the pregame, you hit it out, you're going to have to get all of it. I was talking to a TV analyst Jim Deshays before the game, and I said, with the wind coming from the north, does the big video board now that's out in left center field, does it cut the wind down? He goes, oh, yeah. He goes, the only way a righty's going to get it out today is to hit it in front of the video board, and that's where Swanson hit it. 1-0 pitch now to Michael Bush, left-handed hitting first baseman. That's low. So Bobby Miller and Michael Bush know each other quite well. Facing each other here at Wrigley Field. One out, one run is in. And here comes the pitch. And that's outside. It's 3-0 to Bush. So Bobby surrenders his first home run of the season. And it comes off the bat of Dansby Swanson, the shortstop. 3-0 pitch in for a strike. Well, for Michael Bush, he was going to be blocked by either Max Muncy at third or Freddie Freeman at first in the Dodger organization. So being with the Cubs organization, better for him. Big cut and a miss now. It's three and two. Because he starts in the big leagues, and that first base job for Chicago was wide open. So Michael has been occupying first base here. The wind to kick the pitch. And Bush fouls it off to the left and out of play. Turn all your trail dominating off-roading dreams into reality in an all-new 2024 Tacoma. See your Toyota dealer today. They make it easy. Brown be waiting on the hill. Bush ready from the left side. Here comes the 3-2. That's low ball four, and Miller has walked Bush. One on and one out. One in for the Cubs. Dodgers leading two to one. Nico Horner, the second baseman batting seventh. He's hitting 105 so far, but he has hit exceptionally well against the Dodgers over the course of his career. He's hit 351 against the Dodgers. And the pitch swung on, fouled back. So, well, what does that mean? 351. Well, that's the highest career batting average of any active player against the Dodgers. He's had a minimum of 60 plate appearances against them. Next would be Brandon Nimmo of the Mets at 327. Xander Bogarts of the Padres at 310. Pitch to Horner, way outside. Good backhanded stab by Will Smith to keep that ball from going to the backstop. As we look around from foul pole to foul pole, too early for the Ivy to be in. It's just all the vines, and you see the brick wall behind it. Stretch in the 1 1. That is low, blocked by Will Smith. You've had your battles with the brick wall here in the past. Yep, yeah, and uh, the brick wall has won every contest. 
Two balls, one strike to Nico Horner. One on, one out. Bush represents the tying run at first. Yeah, this uh, early in the season, uh, there's no green on the ivy. Taking off all the, the makeup, and you can see, well, okay, there, there's some vines out there, but cold red brick just inches underneath it. No padding on the outfield walls here. 3 1 ground ball. That's going to be up the middle in a base hit. Bush will turn second. He'll hold there. Outman picks it up, gets the ball to third base on one hop, and that's the second hit off of Bobby Miller in the inning. Horner's just kind of an interesting player. You know, he held his own last year. Hey, everybody, let's he go, Dodgers. 27 doubles. And it's a little surprising is that, you know, he's he's had a lot of stolen bases since he's had the Cub uniform on. Surprising that he's hitting the seventh spot versus a little higher in the lineup. Third baseman Nick Madrigal, right-handed hitter standing in. Madrigal 3 for 11 on the early season, 273 average. No home runs and three runs batted in. Comes with a tying run at second base. That's Bush. Big lead at first for Nico Horner. Pitch inside ball one to Madrigal. Madrigal takes a very early and somewhat large stride. And I mention that because guys that normally do that, unless they can keep their hands back, they're going to be vulnerable to off speed pitches because they're geared up for the heater. 1 0 on the way. In for a strike. Change up. Yeah, you can see him in that big stride. I mean, his head is moving forward. It's like golfers. You, know, you want to keep your head behind the baseball. Well, same way in baseball, too. You need to stay back, keep your hands back. Middle infield playing for two, one out, two on. And a 1 1 pitch from Miller inside, two and one the count. And so often you can hear behind us the gusts of wind here at Wrigley. Comes with the territory. Hey, make sure everybody votes in the poll. Who's going to win today? Let me know. Miller Support the channel. Runners off first and second. 2 1 pitch to Madrigal is swung on, fouled back to the right. 2 and 2. Madrigal, decent speed. Horner is able to take a very large lead at first base because Freeman is playing behind him and well off the bag. So on a ground ball, be think, oh, you'd love to have the double play ball, but you have to make sure of getting at least one. 2-2 Two -two pitch from Miller to Nick Madrigal. Bobby well, checks the runners, now comes home. Swung on in a base hit to center field. Bush is going to round third. Outman with the throw to the plate. It's going to be not in time. And the Cubs have tied it. It is 2-2. Two -two. Madrigal with an RBI base hit. One of the things that comes in they have made by the first pitch grounded out to shortstop, but since that time, a lot of opportunities to see various pitches. Mark Pryor coming out of the first base dugout and going to the mound and the consultation on the mound brought to you by Jacoby and Myers, the official law firm of the Dodgers. For a free consultation, call 1 800 5 million because everyone deserves justice. Jan Gomes, the catcher. Number nine hitter in the order. So the leadoff man, Ian Happ, back out in the on deck circle for the Cubs. Going at second base. Nico Horner, Nick Madrigal at first. Still only one man out. Home run this inning by Dansby Swanson. 2 2 ball game, and Miller sends the pitch home low and in. One ball, no strikes to Jan Gomes. Gomes has been around, but as a younger player, he had some really good years with Cleveland. It's his 13th season in the big leagues. Pitch outside, and Bobby falling behind 2 and 0. Not a bad year last year. Hit close to 270, 267 to be exact. 116 games and hit 10 out of the ballpark. So then with the Blue Jays and the Nationals and the A's. 
Stretch by Miller. Runners lead first and second. Pitch swung up, popped up. Wind has it, and it's just going to bring it into the seats. Normally, that ball would be caught by Freddie Freeman, but that ended up about maybe 10 or 11 rows up in the first base side. And you could see it from our perch. As soon as that went up in the air, it started to head right immediately. Took so it up in the jet stream. Two balls and a strike to Jan Gomes. We'll see what the wind does as the day goes along. How it creates some havoc sometimes here. Pitch. Just below the knees with a fastball at 99. And it's three and one to Jan Gomes. Another count in the hitter's favor. Bobby struggling a little bit here in the second inning after striking out the side in the first. The pitch swung on, hit in the air to right. Over toward the line is Teoscar Hernandez. He'll make the catch for out number two. Ball stayed in fair territory. Gomes is out, two down, and here's Ian Hat for the second time in the ballgame. Before he comes up, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Los Angeles Dodgers Audio Network. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Well, the runner at second base is Nico Horner. Nick Madrigal is over at first. Two men out and a 2-2 ball game, and Bobby Miller out of the stretch, delivering to the left-handed hitting Ian Happ. That takes outside ball one. Up hitting 375 on the season so far. No home runs and four runs batted in. Pitch missed off the outside corner. Trying to change up. It's 2 0 to Ian Happ. That wind just keeps on howling in from the north. Pitch now from Miller to Happ. Swung on, fouled off to the left. This really is, and you know from playing here for a number of years, this really is two different ballparks when the wind blows in and when it blows out. And uh, yeah, yeah, two different ballparks, and they can both be treacherous. Hitters like it if it's blowing in one direction, pitchers like it if it's blowing in the other. 2 1 pitch. Slowing in with a fastball, and now Bobby falls behind again. The difference between the first inning and this inning, night and day, because he was ahead of every hitter, and here he's been behind. So much different when you're pitching from behind. He's playing catch up the pitch. That's in for a strike. Now the count full, three and two. Runners will take off. Warner from second, and Madrigal from first. That's playing up the middle. Right side playing the left-handed hitting half to pull. Runners go. The payoff pitch. Swung on. Popped up foul. That'll go back into the seats. So to our left. I don't know if it even made the seats. I think it went up on the roof. Good crowd here on this Friday afternoon. It might be just a little shy of a sellout. We'll see. But bleachers look packed. Bathing in the sun out there in the bleachers and on some of the rooftops across the streets. 3 2 pitch now. Swung on and again fouled back. You know it's windy when from here we can see the white caps on Lake Michigan. And no sailboats. No sailboats. No reason to be out there today. On the other side of the lake. Payoff pitch with the runners on the move. It's outside ball four, and the bases are now full of Cubs. Second walk of the inning for Miller. I'm going to talk about two different innings. Horner goes to third, Madrigal to second, half down to first, and here is Seiya Suzuki. Suzuki struck out chasing a slider in the first inning. Runners lead first, second, and third. 
2 2 game here in the second inning. Pitch. And Suzuki was uh, moved out of the batter's box a little bit. Bobby came way inside on him. 99 up and in. Will that get your attention? In a hurry. One ball, no strikes. Miller set on the hill. Now the pitch. 1 0 is in there for a strike. Another fastball. 1 and 1 to Seiya Suzuki. Hey, everybody, let's go, Dodgers. Field back with two down, and Bobby trying to keep the score right where it is. Suzuki follows it off to the right, and Miller ahead in the count of ball and two strikes. One and two is the count. Miller has the pitch he wants, and he comes set at the belt. He kicks, fires. It's outside. Two balls and two strikes. Starting to warm up. Two and two, the count. And here comes the pitch. Swung on, popped up right side. Again, the wind's got a hold of it. It's going to take it out of fair territory and into foul. Up into the seats. No way Freddie Freeman's going to get to it. Still two and two. Now, in the old days, the bullpens were on the field, down the right and left field lines here. We could see who was warming up. A number of years back, they uh, moved the bullpens inside. We cannot see them, so we just rely on... People telling us that somebody's warming up. 2 2 pitch to Seiya Suzuki from Bobby Miller. Swung out, fouled off again to the right, not a play. Meantime, Bobby's starting to throw a lot of pitches. He's at 54 already. First inning, he was in total command. And here, a couple of walks have hurt him, and the home run to Swanson. And the Cubs have really been battling him. Base is full, two balls, two strikes. Bobby throws home. Swing and a foul straight back. Some trouble finishing off hitters in this inning. With the Dodgers in the top of the third, Shohei Otani, Freddie Freeman, and Will Smith will be the hitters. Bobby trying to get them there. And the 2 2 on the way. In the dirt goes to the backstop, hits the brick, kicks away, Cubs lead. Horner comes in to score. Oh, it took a bad bounce, and you never know with the brick wall behind home plate which way it's going to go. It's not the, the way that the kind of the cutout is, it's not exactly behind the plate, so it could go any way. And it kicked up the third base line into the Cubs on deck circle. A wild pitch produces a run. It's now 3-2 Chicago. Runners at second and third. And a 3-2 pitch coming to Suzuki. Stretch, and here it comes. And this one hit in the air to right field and deep. Going back after it is Teoscar Hernandez. It's off the wall. Two runs are going to come in. And into second base is Suzuki. And the Cubs have extended their lead to 5-2. As dominant as Bobby was in inning number one, he's being batted around here in inning number two. Yeah, he's really struggling in and around the strike zone. And even though he's had two strikes on three of the last four hitters, he's had two strikes on four hitters in this inning, but he's had difficulty in finishing hitters off. Mandrigal and Hap come in to score, and Dave Roberts is coming out to get Bobby Miller. He does not even make two full innings today. Again, first inning, no problem. Second inning, get him in. And a really short homecoming for Bobby Miller. And this is going to end up being a bullpen day for the Dodgers as Denelson Lamette comes out with two outs in the bottom of the second inning. The Cubs with a five spot. Pitching change, timeout. It's the Cubs five, Dodgers two.
At UCLA Health, discovery and innovation lead to the best care. Our doctors and nurses work tirelessly every day to bring you the best experience so you can live your best life. It's why we're consistently ranked as a top hospital nationwide for 34 consecutive years by U.S. News and World Report. Go to UCLAHealth.org to schedule an appointment today at one of over 270 locations in Southern California. Once again, that's UCLAHealth.org. Hey, it's David Vasse. What makes Navient a home run for your home? Navient tankless water heaters offer an endless flow of hot water for spa-like comfort, a 15-year limited warranty, and lower energy bills. Right now, SoCal Gas is offering up to a $1,200 rebate when you replace your old tank with a new high-efficiency Navient tankless water heater. Find the name of your Navient contractor today at Tankless Made Simple dot com that's tankless made simple dot com let's talk about galpin mazda imagine challenging for a championship year in and year out well you can because that's what happens here in town and that's what happens out at galpin mazda david godina the general manager make sure you are treated like a champion every time you hop off the 405 at roscoe to see him in person log on to galpinmazda.com or call them at 1-800-GO-GALPIN. Remember, led by the Bachman family, it is the largest family-owned and operated dealer group in Southern California. Find your Mazda at galpinmazda.com today. Well, it goes to show you how things can go sideways in the blink of an eye in a Major League Baseball game. Bobby Miller lasts only an inning and two-thirds after striking out the side of the inning in the first inning. Four hits, one home run, 58 pitches, 32 per strikes. He's walked to, struck out the three, and is still responsible for Seiya Suzuki at first base. But Denelson Lamette will be responsible for Cody Bellinger receiving an intentional walk. First and second, and the batter will be Christopher Morell. The pitching change brought to you by Navier, high efficiency tankless water heaters, boilers, and the new NPF Hydro Furnace. Next level comfort, perfect for your home and the environment. Learn more at hydrofurnace.com. So Denelson Lamette ready to throw. Here's his pitch. It's in the dirt. Strike uh, rather ball one. One ball and no strikes to Morell. Morell earlier this inning led it off and grounded out on the first pitch to Mookie Betts. Looked like the second inning was going to be a quick inning, but it was anything but. Five to two, Cubs with the lead. Runners lead first and second. And the pitch from Lamet swung on, hit in the air to shallow right field over toward the line to Oscar Hernandez. He makes the catch. So two pitches for Lamet and Morell is out. But the Cubs do some big time damage, led by a Dansby Swanson home run. Nick Madrigal with uh, an RBI and two RBIs for Suzuki with two outs. And at the end of two innings at Wrigley Field, it's the Cubs five, Dodgers two. They are among the greatest to ever play their sports. Caitlin Clark is the all-time scoring leader. They are legends and icons. Larry Bird hit the shot with no second thought. I don't know how he did it. And you can hear them right now on the all-new Sirius XM app. We are here with Iowa superstar Caitlin Clark. I'm so focused on right, make sure you hit that, that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you're new, join the, the channel. Of the year. Legend of the year, isn't that something? For access to the game's greats, we lie on the leader in sports audio. Sirius XM and the Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check your fly, baby. Yeah, on yeah. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yes! Yeah. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. 
Mookie Betts goes the other way. Dodgers fans, this is Mookie Betts. You're listening to Dodgers Baseball on Sirius XM. 5-2 Cubs, top of the third. Shohei Otani takes strike one to lead the inning off. As Kyle Hendricks now goes to work with a lead for the first time in the ball game. Dodgers scored two in the first. Went down in order in the second. And the pitch to Otani is low. One and one to Shohei. He doubled his first time up. Doubled into the left center field gap. And a 1 1 pitch now to Shohei. He swings and taps it foul back to the backstop. Freddie Freeman is on deck. And when you look at what Freddie Freeman and Shohei Otani do on the road, they have the top two on base plus slugging numbers since the beginning of last year on the road. Hey, everybody, let's One, go, two. Dodgers. Tapper down to first base. Michael Bush grabs it. Hendricks sprinting to the bag, takes the throw, and beats Otani there. He'd have won the put out, and there's one gone. Well, friends, you can suit up this season at MLBShop.com. That's right. You can check out the largest selection of official jerseys, caps, T-shirts, collectibles, and a whole lot more. So gear up with your Dodgers at MLBShop.com. One out, base is empty. Freddie Freeman up. Hey, look at those on base plus slugging numbers. Freeman, 1,060. Shohei, 1,092. Next on the list, Aaron Judge of the Yankees at 1,039. Juan Soto also comes in fourth, 1,017. Those are OPS numbers on the road since the beginning of last season. 1 0 pitch. And Freddie check swing foul ball back to the screen. One ball and one strike. Five two Cubs, five run inning in the second off of Bobby Miller. Things really went south on him after he started off totally in command. Here's the wind by Kyle Hendricks, and the Cub right hander sends a pitch home for a strike. Fastball at 88. That's about all you're going to get out of the velocity department from Kyle Hendricks. He is a pitcher, not a thrower. Freddie takes low. Curveball down and in. Two and two. Target was outside. They were hoping it would be a backdoor breaking ball. Come back and get free. And one by Nick Madrigal. He throws to first just to make sure, but it looked like he may have caught it on the dive. A signal by the second base umpire, Eric Bacchus, that yes, there was a catch made in the air. Two men out. Great play by Madrigal at third. And you got to tip your cap in a play like that. He just stole a hit from Freeman. But you don't want to tip your cap too many times to the opposition. Usually means you're behind. Will Smith, right handed hitting catcher, cut and a miss at a sinker. 0 and 1 to Will. Will today is 1 for 1 at a base hit in the first. Hendricks wind the pitch. Outside, ball one. One ball and one strike. Well, about an hour ago, Sunfield was really left field. Now it's center, kind of a little bit left center field. Here comes the 1 1 on the way. Swing and a ground ball softly hit right back to Hendricks. Fields it with a backhand. Jogs toward first, underhand toss to Bush, and the Dodgers go in order for the second straight inning. Seven in a row set down now by Hendricks. We go to the bottom of the third at Wrigley. It's the Cubs five, Dodgers two. Don't miss a second of the men's and women's Final Four on Sirius XM. We're going to have a new champion in women's basketball. The women's semifinals tip off tonight at 7 Eastern. Clark, right wing three. You've got to be kidding me. Then the men take the court tomorrow at 6. DJ Burns may have just put an exclamation point on an NC State win. Listen to Westwood One's coverage on Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84, and the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy.
Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Checker fly, baby. Yeah, on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app. I spit it through the wire, man. Cubs leading the Dodgers 5-2 to two at the bottom of the third inning. Bottom of the third brought to you by AMPM, the official convenience store of the Dodgers. AMPM, too much good stuff. The Nelson Lament will face Dansby Swanson to get things going here in the Cub third. Pitch in for a strike called. Well, for Lament, multiple innings will be the expectation today. Backing up Bobby Miller. The 0 1 pitch. And this is high and inside. One ball and one strike. Swanson a home run last time up. His second homer of the season. And to fight the wind to get it out in left center. It's down low and it's 2 and 1. And he had to hit it through the teeth of the wind, but the big video scoreboard that's out there now. Cut down on some of that win. Two balls and one strike. Pitch in for a strike call. And it's a 2 2 count. Well, for years they didn't have those video boards. So the uh, Wrigley rooftops, which are owned by private folks, not affiliated with the Cubs, they are across. Hey, everybody, the let's go, Dodgers. Now, Swanson hits a high fly ball to right. Going back after it, Teoscar Hernandez. He makes a leaping catch up against the brick wall. One down for the Cubs in the third. And they displayed that ball nicely. Got back to the uh, fence as quickly as he could. Especially when he got the wind. You cannot drift back with the ball. You've got to run really hard to where you think the ball is going to be coming down. You've got some things to deal with out there. Fortunately, he, uh, he didn't have to tangle with the doors that are out there. They've got some doors that go out to the hitting cages and bullpens and whatnot. Those doors, by the way, are metal. The cutouts around them, and there are five different cutouts. Actually, six looking down the right field line, too. And they are all trimmed in steel. Oh, one pitch to Michael Bush is low. One ball and one strike. Yeah, the building's out on uh, Sheffield and Waveland. You know, it used to be apartment houses. Now most of them are private clubs. And there's that one that always had the roof painted as an advertisement and. Uh, the big left field scoreboard that went in a handful of years ago now has has blocked that. They still have advertising up there, but just it's not as readily seen. Two one pitch got in a miss by Bush. Two and two. Yeah, I saw Dave Kingman one afternoon try to put a hole in the roof of that building you're talking <laughs> about behind the fence in, in left field. Two balls and two strikes. That's the count to Michael Bush. One out, nobody on. 5 2 comes leading. Bottom of the third pitch. And it's low to Bush. 3 and 2. Yeah, just such a unique place. It's wedged into a city block. Wrigleyville. 
I think this place was built before cars, so there's no parking around here. You have really struggled to find it. 3 2. Swung on and hammered. This ball is going to be way out of here, up in the bleachers, into the basket, and bounces out as Michael Bush picks up his first home run of the season. He does it against his former club. It is now 6 to 2. That ball, where it started out, the angle, it moved well, 60 to 80 feet from left to the right. As that wind just took it, kept going and going, actually landed in the basket. I think on a normal day, Mo, tell me if you agree, that would have been halfway up the bleachers. Yeah. But you're right, the angle of it and the wind just pushed it and continued to push it. That's why Teoscar Hernandez continued to play it. But it ended up in the basket, bounced out. And that's a home run here. Well, the bleachers have also been extended. They are much higher, both in the right field and left field, than what they were originally. Second home run by the Cubs this afternoon. And the Dodgers falling behind now by four runs. Nico Horner fouls one off to the right now to play. There used to be a divided line also between the fans. You were either a left field bleacher fan or a right field bleacher fan, and the two did not blend well. <laughs> nope. And a pitch. Swung on, hit down the right field line. It is slicing, and that will make the seats. Yeah, that's one neat thing about here. I mean, the right bleacher fans and the left bleacher yeah. fans yell at each other. In unison. Yeah. And you've got to kind of, you know, if you're a player, they ask you, well, you know, who do you like better, right or left? And you've got to be careful how you answer here. Well, if you're sensitive, to criticism you don't want to play out here as a as a visiting visiting player oh, two misses one ball and two strikes and if they don't like you as a home player you won't have you won't have any doubt if you're liked or not everybody make sure you one hit that out, like button out, hit that one, subscribe two, button and if you're new Swung join out, the, the channel center. but right there is James Altman he'll back up a few move over to his right a few and make the catch and Horner is out two gone Look at the modern stadiums today, and you know that's why it's kind of refreshing and fun to come back to Wrigley. We're the oldest Fenway and Wrigley are the two oldest, and the third oldest Dodger Stadium. But it's neat to come back here and see where baseball has been played for so many years. Strike called to Nick Madrigal. Madrigal one for one with a run batted in and a run scored today. Lamette into the line now the pitch and it's low. And when you walk from the clubhouse, this is the visiting clubhouse on the first base side, when you walk from the clubhouse down the steps and through this labyrinth, this hallway that meanders out to the dugout, there's a ground ball to the right side. That's through for a base hit. Madrigal just reached for it and poked it over there on the ground. Two out single, he's two for two. But as you go down this hallway and into the first base dugout, you often wonder, at least I do, you know, who else took these very same steps over the years? And the list is a mile long. Just about all the greats of the game had done that. Now the dugouts here have been reconfigured over the last few years. They're much bigger than they used to be. Jan Gomes, the catcher, and that's outside and low. And the locker rooms have been moved, expanded. The old locker room, you had to walk up steps to get over the top of the crowd and into the locker room, which is about the size of a large closet. Stretch by Lamette, runner at first base, and the 1 0. Fastball in there for a strike, 1 and 1. Now, what people don't know about the clubhouse on the first base side here is that. As you walk through and, and go back into the laundry room, there is a, another little set of steps and a door. Swing and a miss at a ball in the dirt, and it's one and two to go. If you go out that door and turn immediately right, there's an ATM right there in case anybody needs cash. But you're actually on the ramps where the fans are, and they really don't know that that door goes into the laundry room of the visitor's clubhouse. Yeah, they do now. They do now. So don't open it. 
Unless you want 20s. <laughs> Unless you're bringing cash. <laughs> One two pitch swing and a line drive foul down the third base side. One and two to Jan Gomes. Now for a long time, they didn't have elevators that would get up here to the press box. There used to be one way down the third base side. That was it. One, two. Swing and a foul ball yeah. off to the right. Yeah, out closer to the fire station. Well, we'd always walk up the ramps here, the ramps that. Go one way than the other. They like a switchback on the way up here. It's a great way to get your cardio going for the day. Took that way up back from the dugout today instead of taking the elevator. One, two, swing and a fly ball to right, slicing toward uh, the foul line, and that's going to be carried out of play by the wind. So as you're coming back up that uh, labyrinth of walkways, about halfway up, did it even? Don on you is it you could have taken the elevator? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was up there and all of a sudden started a little harder to breathe. It must have been the altitude. There's a one two pitch. Swing and a foul back. Don't have to worry about the altitude here. One and two, the count. Two outs and a man aboard. That is Nick Madrigal. Jan Gomes, the ninth hitter. Gavin Lux, the second baseman, playing up the middle. Outfield straight up. Deep on the left side, Betts and Muncy. To Nelson Lamette fires home. One, two. Swing and a fly ball. Shallow right. In comes Teoscar Hernandez. Hanging with the baseball. He makes the catch and the side retired. One run, a home run by Michael Bush. Two hits, no errors, and a man left. We go to the fourth at Wrigley Field on the north side of Chicago. It's the Cubs six and the Dodgers two. You've waited all year for baseball. And it's finally here. Now get ready for Major League winning when you join the most generous players club in Southern California at Valley View Casino and Hotel. Join and receive over $100 in free instant offers to enjoy at San Diego's favorite casino. No strings attached. Signing up for the players club is always quick, easy, and free. So visit valleyviewcasino.com to learn more today. Welcome to the future, Dickerson. All your trophy muscles are irrelevant. What are you talking about? For 46 years, the Ford F-Series has been the best-selling truck on the market. But it's not just because it's got brawn. It's got brains, too. And cutting-edge technology. Fully charged. Mobile generators, hybrid engines, even wireless charging. That's great, but I've got both. I'm the whole package. Humble, too. Head to your Southern California Ford dealers for great offers on a Ford F-150 truck. Every year on April 15th, the Dodgers honor the legacy of Jackie Robinson on the day of his Major League debut. The trailblazer who broke the color barrier, proudly wearing Dodger blue, and the only player to have his number retired nationally. Come to Dodger Stadium on Monday, April 15th, when the Dodgers take on the Washington Nationals and be one of the first 40,000 fans in attendance to receive a Jackie Robinson Brooklyn Dodgers hat. Presented by UCLA Health. For tickets, visit Dodgers.com slash promote. Emotions. Dodgers fans, this is Evan Phillips. And Evan Phillips continues to do a magnificent job for the Dodgers. And you're listening to Dodger Baseball on Sirius XM. Against the wind. There's something against the wind. Top of the fourth inning, Dodgers trailing the Cubs 6-2. to two. Max Muncy will lead off against Kyle Hendricks. And Hendricks into the wind, his pitch. It is a little bit high for ball one. Hendricks, 56 pitches to this point in the game. And he does not overpower. He just places the ball here and there, change ups, fastball, sinker, curveball, gets a strike in on Muncy. Dodgers have action in the bullpen right now. Left hander Alex Vessia starting to throw. One and one to Muncy. 
Here's the pitch. Swings hits a slow ground ball to third. It is backhanded by Nick Madrigal. He throws to first in time to get Muncy. One out. You can enhance your listening experience. Download the iHeartRadio app and listen in HD, powered by LA Healthcare, serving all Angelinos. LAcare.org. 5 3 goes to put out one gun, and Teoscar Hernandez the batter. Hernandez is slugging 657, four home runs in 10 games. Swings at the first pitch, pops it up shallow right. Wins got it. It falls in for a hit. It fell in between three Cubs. Second baseman Nico Horner, the first baseman Michael Bush, and the right fielder Seiya Suzuki were all converging, and the ball fell in the Bermuda Triangle for a hit. And Hernandez is two for two. He has driven in both Dodger runs with a single with a 3-2 count and two outs in the first, and now he's got a one-out base hit. Horner on that pop up the second baseman also lost track of the ball. He's looking up into the sunshine. James Outman the batter. You look at a ball outside. Well, you don't have to get all of them back here. You're down four runs but you want to get at least one start chipping away. Out of the stretch is Hendricks. Right handers pitches high and away for a ball 2 0 to Outman. James struck out in the first. A victim of the Hendricks changeup. Teoscar leads at first, held on by Bush, and the pitch swung on foul back. Well, Hendricks, a little bit uh, long in the tooth, but no worse for the wear. He is the only remaining player on the Cubs that participated in the World Series in 2016. Stretching and now the 2 1 coming. He'll throw to first instead and to Oscar's back standing. It was Hendricks who was on the mound in the National League Championship Series against the Dodgers in 2016. It was game six and Hendricks Ended up leading the Cubs to clinch the National League pennant over the Dodgers. The Dodgers are trying to force a game seven, but the Cubs won it and then went on to win the World Series. Three balls and a strike to James Outman. Stretching the pitch. Swung on, foul back now three and two. Three balls, two strikes. Dansby Swanson, the Cubs shortstop, playing near the bag at second with one out. And the payoff. Swung on, a rope foul. That's just pulled, and the wind's got it, and it hooks. I mean, that looks like. A bad golf shot, doesn't it? Or a frisbee. <laughs> exactly. It gets up into that wind and it just takes off to the right. 3 2 pitch. Outman lifts it down the first baseline. That's a fair ball. Hernandez around second, on his way to third, around first, and on his way to second is James Outman. Outman's got his first double. And the Dodgers now knocking on the door with one out. They've got runners at second and third. Well, for Outman stayed back. He saw a lot of pitches in that at bat. And got the change up that was tailing away. He went out hooked around it. And the Dodgers need desperately to pick at least one run up here. Chris Taylor is 0 for 1. He grounded out to Swanson at short in the second inning. And Chris just with one hit on the season. He's 1 for 12. To get at least one run out of this. And the pitch to Chris. He swings and it's a line shot right to third. Nick Madrigal moving to his glove side left, snares it and prevents it from going into left field. That's what can be maddening about this game. You do everything you're trying to do, get a good pitch, you put on a good swing, but you hit it right at someone. And Gavin Lux now with a chance. Lux struck out swinging. So he went after a changeup that just kind of fell off the table in the second inning. 
The Oscar leads at third, out minute second, and the pitch outside the Lux. One and oh. Blustery day here in Chicago, but that's nothing new. Bright blue skies, not a cloud in sight. 1 0. And a swing and a hot shot that's toward the middle. It is flagged down by Horner. He throws to second and he gets Lux. Oh my goodness, what a play by Nico Horner. He dove hard to his right side, snared it, got up to his feet and threw the speedy Lux out. And he just saved a run or two right there for the Cubs. One of the best defensive plays, certainly for the Cubs this year, made by Nico Horner. No runs, two hits, two left. After three and a half, it's the Cubs six, Dodgers two. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Checker fly, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Are you regretting eating that gas station hot dog? Yeah, we know. We've been there, too. This is a message for baseball fans like you. Did you know that you get a channel that's talking baseball 24-7 as part of your Sirius XM subscription? What? Our lineup includes shows hosted by former big leaguers and executives. Plus, you'll hear from 17 managers each week. MLB Network Radio is on Sirius XM Channel 89. Or just search MLB Network Radio on the SXM app. Sirius XM Sports. We're more than just a game. This is Bob Kendrick, president of the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum and host of the Sirius XM original podcast, Black Diamonds. Hear stories about the legends of the Negro Leagues and conversations with the all-time greats they've influenced, like five-time World Series champion Derek Jeter. I don't care what race you are. You need to know your past. This is U.S. history. It's not just baseball history. Hear over 70 episodes of the award-winning Black Diamonds podcast, available now on the SiriusXM app or wherever you get your podcasts. In season or out of season, the number one place for college sports is Sirius XM College Sports Radio, Channel 84. Freddie Freeman has done it again inside the pole. This is first baseman Freddie Freeman. You're listening to Dodgers baseball on Sirius XM. Switch hitter turns around to bat right handed against Alex Vessia, who has entered the game for the Dodgers. Cubs six, Dodgers two. Bottom of the fourth inning, the first pitch of strike. Then Nelson Lament, an inning in the third, two hits, one earned run. That was the home run he allowed to Michael Bush. No walks and one strikeout. Nothing in one to Ian Happ. And he swings, pops it up, shallow center. Outman battling the sun. He's got his bare hand up there in front of the sun, but he reaches out and makes the catch. You know exactly what he was going through there. Well, you use um, the sunglasses for one. If that doesn't work, you try and use your hand to block out the sun. If that doesn't work, you try and use maybe your glove, the bill of your cap. And if that all fails, ask for the guy next to you to come on over and catch it. Uh, here's Seiya Suzuki, one for two with a two run double. One out, base is empty in the pitch. That's up in a way. You got a good story about Rico Cardi when you were playing here. Well, Rico Cardi, first year I was with the Cubs, Leo DeRocha was the manager for about the first half of the season before he was let go. But Cardi, who played left field, tremendous hitter. Pitch in for a strike, one and one. But Rico Cardi had something in common with Michael Jackson. Both of them wore gloves for no apparent reason. <laughs> and the stretch by Vessia, his kick in the 1 1 pitch. <laughs> but before the first pitch was thrown in a ball game, and that's when he played all day games, Rico Cardi called timeout. He called the bat boy all the way out to left field. And Rico took off of his flip down sunglasses, gave them to the, to the bat boy, who returned to the third base Cubs dugout. 1 2 pitch is a ball up and away. So of course the first batter hit a fly ball to left field. And Rico covered the area that he was standing in and any area that his shadow was also occupying pretty well. But he lost the ball in the sun. Guy wound up with a double and Leo called time sent the bat boy out 
with two cases of sunglasses. The pitch has popped up foul and out of play. With the words to relay to Rico Cardi, tell him to select at least one pair of sunglasses. At least one pair. Yep. But you need the you know the flip downs that have the really thick lenses that are like that well are really welders. dark. Yeah, yes. Like welders glass. Yep. Could Rico Cardi moonwalk? That's the question. He could hit him. Did you hit the board. like button? Come on, Download hit the like button. Two now and to subscribe too. Join the family. Suzuki. Did you like my analysis? I though? did. I, yeah, but I did. That was good. Rico and Michael Jackson. Uh, beat it. Here comes the 3 2 pitch. And that is low ball four. So Vesia puts a man on. Suzuki is aboard for the second time this afternoon. In a 6 to 2 Cub lead, they have two home runs. Michael Bush with one, Dansby Swanson with another. But if you joined us late, Bobby Miller was starting on his 25th birthday, 17 miles from his home. Struck out the side in the first, just like he did his first outing against the Cardinals. Came out in the second, and the game completely went sideways on him. Bellinger hits a soft comebacker to Vesey, throws the second one, Mookie the turn. That's a double play that ends the inning. One, six, three. No runs, no hits, snores, nobody left. We go to the fifth. It's the Cubs six, Dodgers two. Hey, it's Taylor. April 7th. It's finally here. Beginning this Sunday for one month. Sirius XM, Channel 13, Taylor's version. This is CJ Nikowski. Join me, Ryan Spielborgs, and Brad Lidge every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern as we give you the player's perspective of what's happening in baseball. He is possessed every time he goes out there right now. This is crazy. There's this energy that certain players bring. It's Loud Outs every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM, Channel 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. There is no competition in soccer quite like the UEFA Champions League. And it's on Sirius XMFC. Kylian Mbappe delivering when it matters most. The stakes are higher now in the knockout stage where one goal can transform a club's trajectory. Jude Bellingham's driving, driving scores! And one performance can turn a star into an immortal. Erling Haaland has five! It's the Champions League knockout stage and all the top matches are on Sirius XMFC 157 and the all-new Sirius XM app. The wait is over. Dodger fans, this is Dave Roberts. The Dodgers are the champions of 2020. You're listening to Los Angeles Dodgers baseball on Sirius XM. Go! Mookie Betts goes the other way. Dodgers fans, this is Mookie Betts. You're listening to Dodgers baseball on Sirius XM. Top of the fifth inning, it's the Cubs six, Dodgers two. Top of the order up for the Dodgers. Mookie Betts to face Kyle Hendricks. Third time around the order now. First pitch from Hendricks to Betts is outside for a ball. So Betts up there. Shohei Otani is on deck. Who's on deck is brought to you by On Deck. For small business lending that's fast and easy, go to ondeck.com. 1-0 pitch to Mookie. In for a strike call. 71 pitches for Hendricks. Just kind of picks his way through lineups. Overhand wind up the kick in the pitch. And that is downstairs. Well, whenever we come to Wrigley Field, we always think of your old teammate Ron Santo. And for a lot of years sitting in this visiting radio booth in the right seat here, we'd be shoulder to shoulder if it weren't for the pane of glass in between us. Three and one now to Mookie. Right now, Ron Coomer has very uh, admirably taken his spot since uh, since Ron passed a number of years back. The perfect, the perfect man to uh, step in behind Ronnie. There's a shot to left field and a base hit for Bats. He's going to take a turnaround first, and he'll stop there with a sharp single. Ron Sando, one of the most enthusiastic human beings, not just players, as a human being. Talked about it many times. He helped a lot of people overcome 
difficulty, especially with kids. Ron Sano was diagnosed with diabetes when he was a young teenager. And at the big league level, he went out and really counseled youngsters and said, hey, look, this is what I've been able to do. And depending upon the severity of it, I mean, he just really helped people. Go to first base, Mookie back standing. Shohei up one for two. Otani with a double and a run scored in the first. And Ron still talked about glowingly in these parts. Shohei swings, hits a ball deep to the right field corner. It is going toward the pole, and it is gone. A home run for Shohei Otani. His second as a Dodger. One out at Wrigley Field. Hey everybody, let's go Dodgers. The crosswind was going to move the baseball. Would it stay fair? Or would the wind blow it foul? And with that trip around the diamond, he can stop by getting one of the Daniels Miller's locations to say all right. Free and free two bracelets along with a 50 dollars gift card towards a purchase of $99 or more. Daniels Jewelers own the dream. Now Freddie Freeman will take a ball outside. Look like he was sitting change up and he got one right over the middle and just hammered it down the right field line. 379 feet the estimated distance on the home run for Shohei Otani. Tigers just keep swinging the bats. I mean they, they put runners on. Don't win two three innings in the second and third but they've had a lot of traffic in the other innings. Third home run allowed this year by Hendricks. He allowed two in his opening start at Texas against the Rangers. He allowed five earned runs in that game. He's allowed four earned runs so far today. It's a 6 4 game in favor of the Cubs. Otani's first ever game at Wrigley Field. He's got two extra base hits, and Freddie Freeman draws a walk. And with nobody out, the Dodgers will bring the tying run up, and Will Smith. Tommy Hadovy, the manager, is going to come out and have a word with Kyle Hendricks. So a meeting on the mound for the Cubs. A reminder, you're planning ahead. Any time's a good time to go to Dodger Stadium. And keep this one in mind, Tuesday, April 16th, Hello Kitty Night. And if you purchase a special ticket pack, you'll also receive a Hello Kitty bag. So for tickets, come on out and join us. It's going to be a fun night. Dodgers.com slash ticket packs. Cubs have a lefty warming in the bullpen, Drew Smiley. Con uh, talking to Dave Roberts today in the dugout, and it was a big crowd down there talking to him. Uh, he was asked about uh, having the lead in Dodger history in terms of home runs by Japanese born players. And he does. He has seven. Of course, Dave born in Japan. And somebody reminded him of that today, and he said, Yeah, but that's not going to last very long. <laughs> And Shohei starting to catch up. He's now moved into second place all time. Strike call to Will Smith. And he'll own that category. Category that gets buried somewhere in the record book, maybe. Maybe not. Freeman dives back to first base on the throw from Hendricks. And sun splash day here on the north side. Yeah, we got here. You couldn't see the lake. You couldn't see much. It was gray and overcast, and windy and cold. But that has changed. Pitch inside, and it's now a 1 1 count to Will Smith. Tomorrow, a little bit later, as Yoshinobu Yamamoto will start against Jordan Wicks. Morongo Casino Dodgers on deck at noon tomorrow with the first pitch at 105 there goes Freddie this ball drilled down to the left field corner and that's a fair ball Freddie was on the move he's already around third he's going to score without a throw Will Smith drives him in with a double it's now a one run game at six to five and it looks like the Dodger hitters now is trying to catch up hey everybody hitters. let's go Dodgers well they jumped all over him in the first inning They've had to cool the Jets off each of the next two innings, but they've been pecking away in the fourth and also here in the fifth.
Jan Gomes taking a slow walk out, and so is Cubs manager Craig Council. And that double by Will Smith, which was his fourth double of the year, and his eighth run batted in, is going to chase the Cubs starter out of the ball game. The point to the bullpen, or where it roughly is, by Craig Council means that the lefty Drew Smiley will be coming into the ball game. It's a one run game. Dodgers marching right back into this one. Top of the fifth inning. Three runs in so far. It's still nobody out in the top half of the fifth inning. Pitching change timeout. It's the Cubs six. Dodgers five. In the history of Dodger Stadium, there's been 18 total rainouts. Hi, I'm Dave Roberts. As manager of LA's favorite ball club, I know a little something about rainouts. And last year's rain was one for the books. It was also one of LA County's best for capturing rain and stormwater. Over 200 billion gallons of stormwater was captured, enough for 5 million people. This year is starting out stormy. That's why LA County's putting in the work now for a safe, clean, reliable water future. Find out more at waterforla.com. today at carsforkids.org. That's cars with a K. Your car can be picked up as soon as the next day. Receive a tax deduction and vacation voucher. 1877 cars for kids. Donate your car today. Now accepting donations of land, homes, buildings, or any kind of real estate. Alignment Health Plan is changing the Medicare Advantage game so that you can be the one in charge of your health. Hey, this is Steve Sachs, and I highly recommend Alignment. They're handing you the reins so they can cater to your needs. Choose from a wide range of doctors. Your adventures in life haven't stopped. They're just beginning. Alignment Health Plan. Welcome to a new era of aging. Call 888-979-2247 from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. seven days a week or visit AlignmentHealthPlan.com today. Visit AlignmentHealthPlan.com. Standard Drew Smiley takes over for Kyle Hendricks. Hendricks still responsible for Will Smith at second base, but he'll have back to back outings in which he's given up at least five earned runs. Left on left matchup is Max Muncy's up there. He'll take a strike a little bit above the knees on the outer half of the plate. Six to five, Cubs with the lead now. Dodgers marching back. Four hitters into the inning. The Dodgers have. Three runs on the board. Shohei Otani with a two run home run. Pitch from Smiley is low. One ball and one strike. The Cub pitching change brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Smiley out of the University of Arkansas from Little Rock. Here's the pitch. And Max rolls it foul past first base. What about uh, Kyle Hendricks? Ten earned runs now in seven and two thirds innings. His first two starts. He only lasted three and two thirds against the Rangers, and now goes four plus four hitters here today against the Dodgers. Smiley out of the stretch. The left-hander checks the runner. Will Smith at second base comes to the plate. It's bounced for a ball. Two and two to Max. Muncy 0 for 2, strikeout victim in the first, and he grounded to third in the fourth. <laughs> this would be a much different game if it wasn't for the gloves of Nick Madrigal at third and Nico Horner at second. Horner saved two runs already today. 2 2 pitch, wave and a miss. He chased one way outside the curveball. It's in the dirt. First base open. He's got to run it out. So strikeout 2 3 the put out. And there's one out for the Dodgers in the top of the fifth. There's Smiley, former second round pick back in 2010 by the Detroit Tigers. Three pitched for the Razorbacks of Arkansas. Now Teoscar Hernandez having a good day, two for two. Two base hits, two runs batted in, swings at the first pitch, pops it foul back and out of play. I'm glad you're with us on this Friday afternoon. It's the matinee baseball this weekend. Three straight day games. Isn't that nice?
0-1 to Teoscar. Smiley's pitch. And Hernandez lets it go in the dirt. That was like every day for you here before they put the lights up. It was uh, about as close to a normal uh, life that you could have in this business. As a home player for the Cubs, you just kind of went home and got ready for the next day's work. But the visiting players had a different schedule. One one swing and a miss, and it's one and two. Some of them, not all of them. No, not all of them. Some of them would go out for dinner, and that would turn into a little later night, usually. In Chicago, one two pitch, swing and a miss as he chased the curveball down and in. And Hernandez strikes out. Smiley comes in out of the bullpen, strikes out two straight. And now he'll face another left handed hitter in James Altman. Hendricks, Dodgers were getting to him third time around the order. Bets a base hit. Otani, a two run homer down the right field line. A walk to Freddie Freeman and then with Freeman on the run Smith doubled down the left field line and Freddie scored from first. Pitch to Outman he cuts and misses James with a double last time up he's one for two. First double of the season for Outman tying run in scoring position. Will Smith getting into his lead. Andrew Smiley attempting to settle things down for the Cubs. Here comes his 0 1. Check swing and a ball the, in the dirt. They appeal down to third base umpire Tom Hanahan. He said he didn't go. One ball, one strike to James. Hey, everybody, let's go, Dodgers. Both the lefties, Outman and Muncie trouble, and it also gave the right-handed hitting to Oscar Hernandez trouble. He struck out on, and so did Muncie. So chances are we'll see a curveball here on a one-two pitch, and James gets a piece of the curveball and fouls it off. Eight hits for the Dodgers in the game comes with six. Pitch swung out, fouled back, and Outman stays alive. Let's pause 10 seconds for station ID on the Dodgers audio network. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all new Sirius XM app. One ball, two strike pitch from Drew Smiley to James Outman. He swings and strikes out. He got a two seam fastball that time. So Outman strikes out for the second time. Drew Smiley comes in, strikes out the first three hitters he sees. But the Dodgers strike for three runs on three hits, including a Shohei Otani two run home run. Middle of the fifth inning at Wrigley Field. The score the Cubs six, the Dodgers five. TimberTech is the best looking decking on the market and the number one brand with the pros. But TimberTech isn't just good looking today. It will look great for decades thanks to our innovative product design, industry leading product and labor warranties, and top rated fire resistance. If you want a great deck, you want a TimberTech deck. Build with the number one brand in premium decking. Build with TimberTech. TimberTech, it's everything wood should be. And available at leading building supply dealers and lumber yards near you. I can live my dreams. I can rewrite my story. I can create a future I look forward to. When you enroll at a California community college, you open the door to unlimited possibilities. Whether you want to transfer to a four-year university or earn an associate degree, financial aid and hundreds of career programs are here to help make it all happen. I can do this. It's time to take control of your future. Classes can fill up quickly, so enroll today at ICanGoToCollege.com. 
Hey, Dodger fans. Yamaba Resort and Casino at San Manuel is your place to go for entertainment. Get your tickets to see two-time Rock and Roll Hall of Famer Stevie Nicks on May 21st. Hang tough with the original boy band, New Kids on the Block, on July 1st. And don't miss Australian country superstar Keith Urban on July 13th. Only at Yamaba, California's number one entertainment destination. Must be 21 to enter. Get tickets at yamabatheater.com. This is L.A. Dodgers baseball. This copyrighted broadcast is presented by authority of the Los Angeles Dodgers and may not be reproduced or retransmitted in any form. The accounts and descriptions of this game may not be disseminated without the express written consent of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Alex Vesia back out on the hill right now for the Dodgers as we go to the bottom half of the fifth inning. Six to five. Cubs with the lead. The designated hitter, Christopher Morrell, right handed batter, swings the first pitch and fouls it slowly up the third baseline. Along with Rick Monday, Tim Neverett, Dwayne McDonald, our producer engineer, we're with you from Wrigley Field. The prevailing wind has been blowing in from the north all day. Which direction will it? Go tomorrow. Tune in and find out. Still have seen three home runs in the game, even with the wind blowing in. Which is down and away. One ball and one strike to Morell. Morell is 0 for 2. And 0 for 2 in the inning. In the second. Here's the pitch. That's outside. He made the first out and the last out in the second inning when the Cubs put a five spot up on the Dodgers. Here's the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to third. Max Muncy has it. Throws it along to first base and plenty of time to get Morrell. One out. There was a time where anything hit on this infield years ago. Would have been considered an adventure by most infielders, but they have done such a good job here with the grounds crew over the last several years, making this a, a very good infield. And you would informally poll players, and you'd you know say best and worst. Where's the best infield? Where's the worst infield? Dansby Swanson takes high ball one. They would say Wrigley Field was the worst and Dodger Stadium was the best. And in fact, many will still tell you Dodger Stadium has the best infield. One-0 pitch. And that is down low. Well, for years and years, they they let the uh, the dirt build up at the corners at first and at third. Where those cutouts on the grass, it was a uh, health hazard, quite frankly. Bad hops. 2 0 pitch to Swanson. Foul back. One of the worst, though, for a long time was Atlanta Fulton County Stadium. Because the battle cry used to be as you go in as a visiting team, you, you would ask the groundskeepers, hey, what time this afternoon did the rodeo end? <laughs> that many chunks taken out of it? 2 1. That's up high three and one. I mean, you would go in there and there were not that many teams that would even take infield practice. Well, the vet wasn't very good either, right, Philly? Well, at least it was artificial surface. So you got some decent hops, but they left it in there a few years too long. Three one is high ball four. And Vesia has walked Swanson one on and one out for the Cubs in the home half of the fifth. I know where your least favorite outfield was, I think. Must have been Montreal, right? Didn't they have the, the heads of the nails sticking? Yes, up yes. Through the turf. Well, when it first opened up, they still had the track in center field and around from the Olympics. And if you had a, a ball that was rolling on the ground, it could hit the indentation. So they had covered it over with artificial surface, but you could get a bad hop on a roller. Here comes the pitch to the left-handed hitting Michael Bush. And it is there for a strike. But a tough one was St. Louis there for a while in the summer, July and August. That's when they had the artificial surface. It was about 145 degrees on the on the field. Another strike to Bush taken. 0 and 2. Okie Betts playing up the middle. 
deep but in double play depth is Lux on the right side. Freddie Freeman holding the runner at first. Now the two strike pitch to Bush is high. Yeah, the Olympics in Montreal were in 76 and they played before that at Jerry Park or if you were from Montreal Park Jerry. The swimming pool not beyond the right field fence. And sun delays. Right. I mean when they mm -hmm. stopped the game. Because of the, of the sunset. Well, I remember Ron Fairley the first moved up there is that Ron Fairley early in the game would, would wear the flip down sunglasses the runner at first base he would tell the pitcher look you can bounce the ball. I would rather you that. don't throw it over me on a pickoff move head high could not see it the sun was setting in his eyes. Last year's one ball two strike offer. A little bit high and Bush takes it two and two. Two balls two strikes. Swanson leads at first and he goes for second pitches high for a ball throw down and they got him. Oh the throw was right in the path. Mookie Betts caught the ball. He was positioned in front of the bag had to take a step toward first to catch it and as he did so Swanson slid into the out. You know I've been looking at uh, the throws down to second base in between innings by Will Smith today and yeah, they have been spot on. Uh, caught stealing two to six two outs bases empty infield back now. And a three two pitch to Bush. Swung on and hit high in the air to right field playable for Teosca Hernandez glasses on. He comes in wins got it a little bit knocked it down and he'll make the catch for the out. No runs no hits nobody left no Dodger errors on to the sixth inning. It's the Cubs six Dodgers five. The 2024 NBA postseason starts in just over a week. And Sirius XM NBA Radio brings you all the action. Slam dunk! Our experts break down every game. This is what playoff basketball is all about. Cover every storyline. Prove me wrong. Prove the people wrong. And bring you every can't-miss moment on the court every single night. He's going to fire up a three for the win! Your 24-7 home for hoops throughout the playoffs is Sirius XM NBA Radio Channel 86 in the car. And on the all-new Sirius XM app. The Busted Open Podcast is now available on YouTube. This is Dave LaGreca, host of Busted Open, the number one pro wrestling show on the planet. You can now watch and listen to the award-winning Busted Open Podcast every single day on YouTube. Our best interviews, behind-the-scenes access, and some of our best content from the past, all available right now when you go to YouTube.com slash at Busted Open Podcast. Subscribe right now. Get ready for the 2024 NFL Draft on Sirius XM NFL Radio. Touchdown, Caleb Williams. Catch exclusive interviews with the top prospects as they begin their journey to the NFL and hear pick-by-pick -pick coverage of the 2024 Draft from Detroit. With the first pick, the Chicago Bears select. Your home for the 2024 NFL Draft is Sirius XM NFL Radio Channel 88 in the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. 24-7, 365. Coverage of all things NASCAR. All things NASCAR happens exclusively on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio, Channel 90. Hi, this is Ray Hudson. And for all the biggest matches from Club Soccer's Holy Grail, the UEFA Champions League, tune in to Sirius XM FC 157. And the wind, it cries, Mary. Dodgers at the plate, top of the sixth inning, trailing the Cubs by a run here in game one of a three-game set. Six to five, Cubs lead it. Drew Smiley back out there, the left-hander, and he throws one by Chris Taylor, and it's nothing in one. Chris is 0 for 2 today, grounded to short, and lined out to Madrigal at third base. Next offer, Chris swings and misses. It's 0 and 2. Number of other day games in progress today. The Giants and Padres top of the first inning no score in San Francisco and also just getting underway opening day in Pittsburgh the Pirates hosting Baltimore and they just get started the uh, Allegheny River which sits just outside the right field wall is really high there and almost coming in to the parking garage that is next to it swing and a miss and Taylor is out on strikes so smiley's come into the game he struck out all four men he's faced 
Everybody, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Colorado if you're Rockies new, at home today join the channel. Tampa Bay. They're just getting underway, and a couple of finals in already. Toronto in the Bronx blanks the Yankees three nothing, and Detroit beats Oakland five to four. The A's one and seven, but that's not the worst start in the majors. The Marlins are 0 and 8. Gavin Lux, the batter, he's 0 for 2. In fact, Lux was up with two on and two out in the fourth. And Nico Horner at second base made an incredible play on him, not only stealing a hit from Lux, but stealing two RBIs. So Horner's play saved two runs, and without that play, this would be a much different ballgame. Smiley's 2 1 pitch. And Lux looks at it on the inner half of the plate for a strike, two and two. And everything else in the big leagues is at night tonight. And it's Friday. A lot of those day games, opening days in those respective ballparks. 2-2 two -two pitch. Swung on in a slow roller to second. Horner behind it. He sends it along to first base for the out. And there are two men gone for the Dodgers here in the top of the sixth. Well, planning ahead also Dodger Stadium Monday, April 15th. That's when the Washington Nationals come in. 7-10 game, and if you're one of the first 40,000 fans in attendance, you're going to receive a Jackie Robinson Brooklyn Dodgers hat presented by UCLA Health. For tickets and information, dodgers.com slash promotions. Two outs, Mookie bets up. He's one for three. Average currently sitting at 472. Five home runs, 11 runs batted in, singled and scored in the fifth. Pitch to Mookie is a strike, one ball, one strike. He's in a slump. He's only one for three today. I know. That's not uh, what we've been accustomed to seeing out of Mookie. Even though that's really good, if you go one for three every day, you'll be hitting 333 at the it end of the season. It is amazing how many times we have looked up already and seen him on base. Day after day is you know, early part of the season, but my goodness. Smiley's 1 2 pitch is fouled off to the right. Yeah, he's been an on base machine. And when you've got guys like Shohei Otani and Freddie Freeman hitting behind you, you're going to score a lot of runs. He scored 15 runs. He swings and hits a ground ball over to Horner. Oh, that stayed up. And he makes the catch on the low line drive about ankle high. Well, Mookie is out. He's one for four. And the Dodgers for the third inning today go in order. After five and a half innings at Wrigley Field, it's the Cubs six, Dodgers five. Here's what's happening on Sirius XM Sports. It starts tonight, the women's final four. Sirius XM College Sports Radio 84 with a preview and play-by-play -play of South Carolina versus NC State. Then the matchup of UConn and Paige Beckers versus Caitlin Clark in Iowa. All on Sirius XM College Sports Radio. Channel 84 on the Sirius XM app. Sirius XM Sports. Wherever you are, your team plays here. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management. Today, and make sure everybody to votes in the poll. Who's going into today? Fantasy Let me Sports know. Radio Support is the here channel. to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check and fly, baby. Yeah, on yeah. Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app.
Bottom of the sixth inning at Wrigley. Nico Horner, Nick Pandragal, Jan Gomes. 7 8 9 to face a new Dodger pitcher as Michael Grove takes the hill. Alex Vessia, two innings, two walks, all the rest zeros. Pitching change brought to you by Valvoline Instant Oil Change, your 15 minute drive through oil change with locations throughout Southern California. Horner takes ball one from Grove. Dodgers will look for a couple of innings out of Michael here. 1 0 pitch. And that is down low. So this game turned into a bullpen game. Inadvertently, 2-0 pitch. That's outside, 3-0. Warner today, a single, a run scored. He's also flying to center, one for two. Grove kicks and fires, and the right-hander sends one over the plate, but it's called a ball, and that's ball four. Warner is aboard with a leadoff walk. Ball looked to be right over the plate. Well, played umpire Laz Diaz didn't see it that way. And Horner leads off for first base, held on by Freddie Freeman. One on, nobody out. Batter is Nick Madrigal, who's two for two. Muncie in on the grass at third. Madrigal takes a strike on a cutter. Nothing in one. Mandrigal wants time after one pitch. Mandrigal drove in a run in the second inning with a base hit. And then scored. And here comes the 0-1. Swung on and popped up to center field. James Outman fighting the sun with his bare hand. Now comes in a few steps and over to his glove side and makes the catch. Not an easy play. Jan Gomes with one out and one on the catcher. Oh, good man to have up there. Hopefully a ground ball double play get out of the inning. And the pitch. And that's dropped by Smith but. No movement at first base from Nico Horner. When you watch Freddie Freeman hold him on he's a couple of feet off the bag towards second base but. The question is, is his right foot in the way of the base? Is he giving? Well, it's about a third of the way. I brought this up to you off air a couple of innings ago and said, hey, look, next time we're under first base, watch where he is. 1-0 is sliced in the right field. That's going to be a base hit. Rounding second is Horner. He's on his way to third, takes a turn, and is held there. And an excuse me base hit to right field for Jan Gomes, and now with one out, the Cubs have runners at the corners. Boy, a nice play also by uh, Hernandez in right field. It is really difficult. Mentioned before, you don't have much foul territory. And when the ball goes down the line and then bounces off that side wall, if you field it perfectly, you have a chance to stop the runners. That's exactly what Jasco Hernandez was able to do. Yeah, we mentioned the location of the right foot of, of Freeman. Well, he's not on the bag. With obstruction really at the top of the order for umpires. Ian Happ turns back around about left handed, takes outside ball one. If there is a pickoff, is that a possibility of being called obstruction? Which I think would be totally absurd, but it's the interpretation of umpires. Stretched by Grove and the runners lead from the corners, pitch filed back. And with Gomes, he's behind. He's not in a straight line between first and second base. He's back about three feet, which he would be coming in at an angle really from the outfield side of the, of the first base bag. So any position of Freddie Freeman's foot would not really enter into the picture. There's the 1 1 pit. Inside corner for a call strike. 1 and 2. Now just uh, prior to the season, the day before the season, Major League Baseball held another broadcaster seminar. We'll get on those calls. And talked about obstruction. That was one of the things. And they said that a couple of calls in spring training 
were basically for the umpire's benefit. Probably they didn't say that. Oh, the pitch kicks away to the right of Smith and down to second base goes Gomes. That's going to be a wild pitch to Grove, and now runners at second and third. But uh, you know we saw Mookie Betts involved in a play. The Mets had Francisco Lindor involved in a play with a foot of the fielder was not covering the whole front of the base it was covering maybe half which still gives the base runner half the base and a path to get there but they were called obstruction in spring training here's the pitch and Hap drills it to right field to Oscar Hernandez coming in it gets by him it skipped right past him two runs are going to come in here comes Horner right behind him is Gomes around second and on his way to third is Hap and it's eight to five Cubs it was a do or die play on a sinking line drive for Teoscar Hernandez. You're dealing with wind on top of it. That was a fastball right down the heart of the strike zone on a low line drive. Hernandez was there. The ball went underneath the glove. Dodgers bring the infield in one out runner at third pitch to Seiya Suzuki who's driven in two runs of his own with a double in the second inning he's one for two with a walk at the curve over the heart of the plate for a call strike out of the stretch Grove he delivers in the dirt one ball one strike well, just little things here and there I mean the one two count you throw a pitch right down the middle and Michael Grove got burned. Just to cap the obstruction thing, Major League Baseball is saying that the umpires are going to use judgment and more common sense in the regular season to call that obstruction situation. Time given to Suzuki. Outfield straight up for Suzuki and the Dodger infield into the grass. Here comes the 1-1. Swung out, hit in the air to right field. This is going to get a run in as Teoscar Hernandez runs it down in the right field corner. Third RBI for Suzuki on the sacrifice fly. And the Cubs now lead it 9-5. to five. They've been very efficient. The Cubs have. We mentioned coming into this ballgame, they've won four in a row. And in those four games, scored 35 runs. Fans, make sure to come to Dodger Stadium Saturday, April 13th, when the Padres are in at 6:10. First 40,000 will take home the first ever Bruised Dark Ground Roll bobblehead presented by Yalva Resort and Casino at San Manuel. Dodgers.com/promotions for more information. And now the fans here chanting Cody Bellinger's first name. Bellinger hitting 192 with a home run this season. Base is empty, two out. He takes. A big swing and misses. 0-2 to Bellinger. Bellinger's trying to hit him into the Wrigley rooftops across Sheffield. He's always taken a big swing. That's been successful for him. Last year had a good year. The year before, not so much. He had about a hundred points difference in his batting average. Between 2022 and 2023, hit 100 points higher with the Cubs last year than he did in his final year with the Dodgers. Grove steps back, turns the one-two in the dirt again. He keeps burying that slider. Count two balls and two strikes. Three runs in for the Cubs here in the sixth on two hits and a walk. 2 2 pitch swung on a pulled foul pass first. It's Chevy truck season at your Southern California Chevy dealers. There's no better time to do what you do best than a Chevy Silverado. Visit SoCalChevy.com for more information. Chevrolet, together, let's drive. Grove delivers. Bellinger swings and misses at a sinker. And the inning is over. Three runs. Two hits, no Dodger errors, and nobody left on base. And at the end of six full at Wrigley Field, it's the Cubs nine, Dodgers five.
Get Spectrum One and catch the Los Angeles Dodgers all season. Stream over 140 live L.A. Dodger games on all of your devices on us. Tons of hits, wins, memorable moments, and more. It's a real home run. Live Dodger games. That's a $149 value now included with Spectrum One. Go to Spectrum.com slash Dodgers for full details. Offer subject to change. Valid for qualified residential customers only. Service not available in all areas. Restrictions apply. Subject to national exclusivities. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. Every winning season is built on a strong team. A team committed to executing a solid game plan. At Security Benefit, we want to help you and your advisor build your retirement game plan. To help you stay committed so that when it's time to execute, you know you've got a solid team behind you. When it comes to retirement, losing is not an option. Talk to your financial advisor to see how you can plan for retirement. Security Benefit, proud sponsor of the LA Dodgers. Sometimes in life, like in baseball, you need a spark off the bench or a late inning rally to help you win the day. Ito wins Oi Ocha Unsweetened Green Tea. All natural ingredients, no sugars, no sweeteners, and only five calories. Brewed from premium whole tea leaves, sourced straight from Japan. Ito in Oi Ocha Unsweetened Green Tea. It's the perfect source of caffeine to get you through the day and get the boys in blue through a long season. Amazing and authentic. It's the game winning hit every time you drink it. Available at your local Daiso stores, Amazon, and Ito in. Com. That's I T O E N dot com. Hey, baseball fans, the best 24 7 hoops talk lives on NBA radio as we get you ready for the stretch run of the season only on Channel 86 and on the brand new Sirius XM app. Go ahead, Otani at the plate to start the seventh inning. He swings and fouls one back. Shohei with a home run, a two run shot in the fifth, a double and a run scored in the first inning. He's two for three. And the Dodgers with a bunch of work to do, down four runs again. It's nine to five. A one pitch. And that is down low. It's the second highest run total the Dodgers have given up in the regular season. The highest run total came in game two against the Padres. The Padres put 15 up. And a 15 11 Dodger loss over in Seoul. A 1 1 pitch is batted into center field. That's going to be caught on the line. Cody Bellinger came in to make the play, and there's one out in the top of the center. Shakey's Pizza Parlor, the official pizza partner of the Dodgers audio broadcast. When it's game day, it's group day at Shakey's.com. The Dodgers five more runs up. That's 10 straight games to start the season. It's a new franchise record, but they're on the wrong side of the score today. Well, five runs typically, Mo, you're going to be in front, right? Absolutely. But uh, not today. Freddie Freeman, the batter. Freddie takes a strike. Ball, one strike to Freddie. Dodgers have won four straight. The Cubs have won four straight. Freddie swings and misses at a sinker from Smiley, who has been dealing since entering the ball game. Kyle Hendricks, the starter, got in trouble in the fifth inning. Faced four men, didn't get an out. And Smiley has retired every hitter he has seen, including striking out four. It's been a strange game. The Dodgers put two on the board in the very first inning. Bobby Miller goes out on his 25th birthday and strikes out all three batters he faces in the first. You figure, okay, this is going to be a lopsided affair. Oops. Two balls, two strikes. The kick and the pitch from Smiley is in the dirt. Three and two to Freddie Freeman. Well, that's baseball, you know. You never know. You never know what you're going to see when you come to the ballpark. From inning to inning, you never know. 3 2 pitch. That's way inside. And Freddie takes a walk for the third time today. Will Smith is two for three, single double with an RBI. Just trying to get a couple of runs back if they can. After three were put up on Michael Grove in the sixth inning. No 
Zero balls and one strike. Here comes the pitch to Will. He looks at it outside. Good crowd today, 34,981 on this Friday afternoon. One one pitch. Swing and a ground ball through the hole left side of base hit. It's a three hit afternoon for Will Smith. And with one out, the Dodgers have runners at first and second. First hit off of Smiley after he walked Freeman. Will Smith continues to hit. That's his 16th hit. He's just one behind Mookie Betts now. Betts with 17. Smith with 16. And Dodgers have had opportunities. This is their tenth at bat with runner in scoring position. But right now they're just two for nine. Thanks, Muncy looks at a ball low. Thanks to as you were alluding to earlier. Thanks to some very good defense. Hey, everybody, let's go, Dodgers. Yeah, this would be a different game. Had Gavin Lux been able everybody, to get make that sure ball you hit that like button, hit that subscribe base. button, and if you're Hunter's new, lead first join the second channel. to Muncy. He's cut on, fouled off. Right at home plate, one and one to count. Yeah, you see the really good attendance here for this day game on a Friday. I'm trying to think. I think it wasn't it manager Jim Fry back in the day when he was upset after a game. No. Was it Fry? No, Lee Ilya. Lee Ilya, that's it. Lee Ilya said, "Don't these people have jobs?" <laughs> uh -oh, swing and. Uh, Looks like the ball hit Muncy. He's getting an extra second or two here. He squats mm -hmm. down. Here comes Dave Roberts. Here comes Yep. Possum, one of the trainers out. See what's up with Max Muncy. Yeah, Lee Ilya had that that quote, and uh, that didn't sit too well with the folks at Chicago. No, it did not. He was sticking up for his team. Fans were getting on his players. He'd had enough. Hit that ball came up and hit him. And the trainer might as well come out with a trumpet. All you can do is say, hey, "Let's wait a few minutes." And yep. Well, he got hit in a sensitive area, so that, really nothing you can do. It's a wait. Ball of two strikes to Max Muncy. Freeman leading at second base, big lead for Smith at first, one man out. And the pitch from the left-hander Smiley is in the dirt. And the runner's gonna go. Smith goes down to second, he makes it. And safe at third is Freeman. So now the Dodgers with two runners in scoring position. He credited a wild pitch, but it was a, a really good dirt ball read by both. Base runners for the Dodgers who took off at the exact same time. Anticipating possibilities to advance, that's exactly what they did. Alert throw by Gomes came close to getting Smith at second base. Two and two the count to Max Muncy. Here comes the pitch from Smiley. Swung out and missed. He chased the curveball. And Max having a rough afternoon. He is 0 for 4 with three strikeouts. And Craig Council is going to come out and get Smiley. And get a, it, it, it's just really a pitch count thing, but he's been pitching so well. You wonder why, but uh, there are definitely reasons why. So pitching change for the Cubs. As the right-hander is going to come out of the bullpen. We'll tell you about it when we come back. Two men out, top of the seventh inning. Dodgers with runners at second and third, and Teoscar Hernandez will hit next the score the Cubs nine and the Dodgers five get Spectrum one and catch the Los Angeles Dodgers all season stream over 140 live LA Dodger games on all of your devices on us tons of hits wins memorable moments and more it's a real home run live Dodger games that's a $149 value now included with Spectrum one go to spectrum.com slash Dodgers for full details offer subject to change valid for qualified residential customers only service not available in all areas restrictions Supply subject to national exclusivities. Major League Baseball trademarks used with permission. 
Medi-Cal renewals are happening now. All members' eligibility is reviewed once annually, and everyone's renewal date is different. You can check your renewal month in your online BenefitsCal.com account. If your current address, email, or phone number have changed, please update your information with your local county office. If you get a renewal form in the mail in a yellow envelope, you must complete it to keep your Medi-Cal. If you don't, you will lose your coverage. Visit LACare.org for more information. That's LACare.org. Your car is one of your most prized possessions, so you want to make sure you're taking care of it, and that includes routine oil changes. Hi, this is Tim Cates. With our family cars, I trust the folks at Valvoline Instant Oil Change, home of the 15-minute drive through oil change. No waiting rooms, no appointment needed. With locations all over Southern California, go to SoCalOilChange.com and find the Valvoline Instant Oil Change near you. When you pull in, they offer stay-in-your-car service while you wait. Got 15 minutes? Need an oil change? Make it a Valvoline instant oil change. Thirty-two-year-old right-hander Julian Merriweather out of San Mateo, California, comes out to pitch with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. He'll face Teoscar Hernandez. Nine-five comes with the lead, getting a little later and later in the afternoon. Here's the pitch to Teoscar, and he takes a strike. Freddie Freeman at third, Will Smith at second. And two men out. Larry Weather replacing Smiley went two and two thirds, allowing only one hit. Here's the pitch. And Teoscar takes in the dirt. Now you could be thinking for Craig Council, he does not want Hernandez to face the lefty. But Hernandez is two for two against righties today. He was two for two against the starter, Kyle Hendricks, 0 for one against the lefty, Drew Smiley. And Merriweather deals, and this ball is ripped down the third base side. That's a fair ball. Here comes Freeman in to score. Will Smith right behind him. It is now 9 to 7. Teoscar Hernandez, what a day. Three for four, and four runs batted in. Well, he was paying attention evidently in the meetings and they go over the uh, the pitching staff for the Cubs because Merriweather we go back to last year. He threw two out of every three pitches to right handed batters off speed pitches and that's exactly what Hernandez got there. There's two runs charged to Smiley and the book closed on the Cub reliever. And the tying run is at the plate and James Altman. Play by half also on that base hit to, to hold Hernandez to a long single. 9 7 ball game, two run lead for the Cubs. Outman with a 0 1 count. And Merriweather kicks and fires, and James swings and misses, and it's 0 2. They do not play to pull in the outfield. Big gap in left center. Infield, couple of steps to pull, in particular the shortstop and third baseman. And two pitch coming. Out of the stretch from Merriweather. Here it is. Runner goes. And the pitch up high for a ball. Throw down to second. And safe at second is Teoscar Hernandez. He slid to the outside part of the bag, the outfield side, and got there before Dansby Swanson could catch the ball and swipe a tag on it. First stolen base of the season for Hernandez. He's now one for two in steal attempts. Another runner in scoring position. One two pitch inside corner called strike three. And Outman goes down on strikes for the third time this afternoon. Two runs come in on two hits. It is stretch time at Wrigley Field in Chicago. The score the Cubs nine Dodgers seven. It's Chevy truck season and there's no better time to do what you do best. No better time to get the job done in a Chevy Silverado with best in class standard torque and a turbo max engine with a five year 100,000 mile limited powertrain warranty that outlasts both Ford and Ram. Or to turn anywhere into home base in the Chevy Silverado with Durabed, the largest, most functional bed of any competitor. 
So kick off whatever your thing is season right. Because it all starts with a Chevy truck. Get $5,000 total value on Silverado LTZ and High Country models when you trade in an eligible vehicle. Or during Chevy truck season, get as low as 0.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 models. Find new roads at your Southern California Chevy dealers. Based on latest competitive data, excludes other GM vehicles, whichever comes first. See dealer for limited warranty details. Based on Ford and Ram 5-year 60,000-mile warranty on gasoline engines. 0.9% APR for 36 months. Monthly payment is 2016 for every 1,000 finance. Example on payment, 15.8%. Must finance with GM Financial. Some customers may not qualify. Must trade in a 2010-mile year on your vehicle. Not available. Special financing leases up on their offers. Take your recap delivery by 4 24. The kid from Kentucky is back. Paul yeah! strike three. Bueller says, thanks for coming. After almost two years away, Walker Bueller is returning to the mound. Eighth strikeout of the game for Bueller. Head to Dodger Stadium on Saturday, April 20th to watch the Dodgers take on the New York Mets and be one of the first 40,000 fans in attendance to receive a Walker Bueller bobblehead presented by Bank of America. For tickets, visit Dodgers.com slash promotions. Dodgers fans, no matter where you are, you won't miss a pitch with the SiriusXM app. Hear every game all season long. Download the SiriusXM app and search Dodgers. Home half of the seventh inning. 9-7 comes with the lead. And Michael Grove pitching to Christopher Morrell, the designated hitter, who induces a big swing at a slider. Nothing in one to Morrell. Morrell 0 for 3 today. And next offer, ground ball toward the hole at third. To his glove side is Muncie. He grabs it, throws low to first. Dug out with a backhand by Freddie Freeman. One out in the bottom of the seventh. The bottom of the seventh is brought to you by Bank of America, the official bank of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Dansby Swanson is one for two with a walk. That one, a home run back in the second inning. Just a two-run ball game here at Wrigley Field. And Grove delivers. Pitch up high. Those three runs surrendered in the sixth. Boy, those are big ones. Look at where the score is, but certainly Dodger bats are not done. Looks to Swanson outside. Two balls and no strikes. Dodgers scored first, two in the top of the first. But then the bottom of the second inning, five runs came in for the Cubs off of Bobby Miller. Hey, everybody, let's Three go, on Dodgers. I think it's a warm weather. Run share factor is all the way up to 38. Shadows are starting to creep onto the field. The lights and the flags up on the roof over on the third base side. Swinging a ground ball towards short. Mookie charges, and he tried to one-hand it and booted it. And remember, I'm going to give him a base hit out of that. Okay? Anyway, I remember a, a podcast that uh, Mookie had in spring training. He visited with Dansby Swanson. And, it was during that podcast that Swanson suddenly realized that Mookie Betts was going to be competing with him for the National League Gold Glove. But that play uh, not going to help Mookie Betts there. And Swanson is aboard. And what is ruled a single? Hmm. Looked like a routine ground ball to short to me. Pitch to Michael Bush. Strike call. And if Mookie fields that with one hand, charging with one hand and throws, that's an easy out. Right at him. Here's the pitch. And a big swing and a miss by Bush. with a two run lead nine seven bottom of the seventh inning Grove stretches pitches and it's outside Michael Bush today with a home run also walked and scored so two runs scored for Bush he's one for two and the home run that he hit looked like it was going to be halfway up the bleachers and on a normal day would be 
But the wind got it. Drove it to the right side. It ended up in the basket in right field. Swings and fouls this pitch back. Two balls, two strikes to Michael Bush. Pitching matchup tomorrow afternoon. Shinobu Yamamoto against Jordan Wicks. 2 2. Missed outside. 3 and 2 now. And on Sunday, Gavin Stone will go for the Dodgers. And he will face Shota Imanaga. Here comes the payoff pitch. Swanson breaks for second. The pitch is hit in the air to right field. Teoscar Hernandez batting the sun using his glove to block it. Now he makes the catch and Swanson back to first with two men out. Nico Horner's had a day. He's one for two with a walk. He scored twice. He made the biggest defensive play of the game, though. On Gavin Lux back in the fourth inning, saving two runs. Even if he didn't hit at all today, that would be his biggest contribution to where we are now in the game. First pitch to Horner, swinging him in. Chase the slider. Horner taps the inside edge of home plate, right handed batter looking out at Grove. Dansby Swanson leading at first. Two outs. Grove pausing on the hill. Now the pitch. Swing and a ground ball to short. Mookie behind it. He's got it. Flips the short way to second base. And that is the force out that retires the side. No runs a hit. One man left. We go to the eighth. It's the Cubs nine, Dodgers seven. Comedy Central Radio brings you the biggest names in comedy. All day long, you'll hear the best stand-up comedy from Comedy Central's massive library. If you ever ask an adult what they did over the weekend and they say they didn't do anything, their faces light up. Every weeknight, you'll hear two half hours of comedy for your drive home. The other day, I got jealous of a dog's thigh gap. I'm not proud of that. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. Your home for incredible stand-up comedy. Search comedy on the all-new Sirius XM app. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready Everybody for the NFL sure you draft. Hit that like fantasy button, Sports that Radio is here to help if you, you dominate. Join the How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Check your fly, baby. Yeah, on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car and on the all-new Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yes! Yeah. The UFC is on Sirius XM. Hear all the action live from the Octagon every weekend on Sirius XM Fight Nation Channel 156. Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app. The eighth inning, Cubs nine, Dodgers seven. Merriweather still in there facing Chris Taylor. Gavin Lux on deck and then Mookie Betts. And it looks like the pitch comm device is not working for Merriweather. Good time to remind you about Morongo Casino Resort and Spa, the MVP for fun, food, and good times. Less than 90 minutes from wherever you are. Morongo, good times. Talked about Merriweather off speed pitch to right handed batters also last year. Again, uh, high percentage of sliders to right handed batters. Working out of the stretch at all times. Pitch to Taylor, swing and a miss. This, this afternoon, 0 for 3. Rounded out, lined out, and struck out. This would be a great inning to set the table. 
Oh one pitch. That's outside. And ball and one strike to Taylor. Larry Weathers, 1-1. One, one. That's inside, 2-1. Two Dodgers, two runs in the first. Cubs, five runs in the second. A single run in the third. Dodgers with three in the fifth. Cubs with three in the sixth. And the Dodgers with two in the seventh. And Taylor takes ball three in the dirt. A walk would do it. Gets uh, another pitch to work with. By Merriweather, and the 3 1 now comes to Chris Taylor. Swings and fouls it back. It's 3 and 2. Last couple of years, the Dodgers have won 11 of 14 against the Cubs. And they have been able to get to the Cub bullpen. The bullpen ERA over the last two seasons against the Dodgers, 537. That pitch way up high and knocks him down, and it's ball four. So worth it for Chris Taylor. To have the tower buzzed right there, and he'll head down to first base, and that'll bring the tying run up. Dodgers have had plenty of opportunities, but they're just three for 12 with runners in scoring position. We mentioned uh, after Wednesday's game, the Dodgers in the homestand as a team hit 355 in this spot, coming up hopefully with runners in scoring position. Left-handed batter Lux 0 for 3. He's grounded out twice, struck out once, and he takes a strike here. This would be a great time for a hit for Gavin. Outfield not very deep. Rodgers down a pair here, 9 7 in the eighth. 0 1 pitch to Lux. He swings and shoots it foul over by the Cub dugout. 0 oh, and 2 to Lux. Mookie Betts on deck. Then Shohei Otani waiting. Second baseman corner, normal position. Third and short, playing to pull a little bit up the middle of the outfield, the opposite direction. Kicking up just a little bit, coming in from the north. Pitch to Lux. He looks at strike three. Slider right over the heart of the plate. Actually. Actually, that was on the outside corner. It was still over the plate. It wasn't a touchdown means for it. Second time, Lux has gone down on strikes. He's 0 for 4 today. And Mookie Betts is 1 for 4. So this is Mookie time here in the eighth inning with Shohei on deck. Betts represents the game's tying run. First pitch. Strike called. Fastball at 95. And one to Mookie. Shadows almost to the home plate circle. Rest of the field still bathed in sun. Taylor off of first. Stretched by Merriweather. He comes home. And that's up high for a ball. One ball and one strike. Well, this is the part of the order you want to have up. This is why these guys hit one, two, three. Meaning Betts, Otani, and Freeman. Because Everybody, let's go Dodgers. Here's the pitch. He takes a strike. Slider that looked a little bit up. He didn't want it. As Diaz calls it a strike. One and two. Right side of the infield wide open. Throw to first, and Taylor just gets back with a hand tag. Nico Horner playing right up the middle. Michael Bush holding Taylor at first. Left side of the infield a little deeper. Here's the pitch. And Mookie backs away from an inside fastball at 98. Two and two to Mookie Betts. Right hander Merriweather set glove up by his chest. The pitch. 2-2 two, two. outside corner called strike three. I mean it hit the black. That was paint by Merriweather, and there are two down. The strikeouts this inning have been called. So the one-two, you go up and in. The two-two, you go right to the outside corner. 
Shohei Otani represents the tying run. He's homered once today. And the pitch. And Shohei lets it go in the dirt. Ball one. For the Cubs, right hander Hector Neris is warming up. Ryan Brazier is going for the Dodgers in their pin. One oh pitch to Otani. Just uh, inside, but just a little low. And it's two and oh. It was a borderline pitch low. Could have gone either way right at the knees. 2-0 to Otani. He swings and he hits a high fly ball that's going to go foul down the left field side. 2-1. He's going to be really enjoyable to watch. He makes contact. You just never know where that ball's going to end up. Taylor leading at first base in the 2 1. Swing and a miss. Slider going down and in. And it's now a 2 2 count to show him. He asks for and is granted time. And now the Cubs fans standing up all around Wrigley Field. They know this is a big pitch in the ball game. Two outs, one on, and a 2 2 to Shohei Otani. In the dirt, and down to second base goes Taylor. Taylor takes second on a wild pitch. Nine seven two run game Dodgers. Trying to close it a little further here. Three balls two strikes to Otani with two men out the pitch. Swung on and well hit the center going back is Bellinger he's got room wind knocked it down and he will make the catch in front of the warning track. Dodgers come up empty in the eighth. They go to the bottom of the eighth inning. It's the Cubs nine Dodgers seven. You want to talk about championship culture. Let's talk about Galpin Honda regularly in the running for the great championship of being the number one Honda dealer in the world. And there's a reason why, because it's led by the Bachman family, the largest family owned and operated dealer group in Southern California. Galpin's been part of the community since 1946, offering great deals, great service with great people. And another great person, Dave Gillum, general manager of Galpin Honda. Reach out to him now at galpinhonda.com. Yeah, I love that speedy cash. When life throws you a curveball, make Speedy Cash your home base to apply for the cash you need. Speedy Cash offers financial solutions that could provide you with cash today. Since 1997, Speedy Cash has helped millions get cash when they need it most. With locations across Southern California, help is close Everybody, by. Make sure Simply you hit call, that like click, button, or come in, and you could have cash button. today. New, get started at channel. SpeedyCash.com. Speedy Cash, official sponsor of every weekend. Yeah! Love that cash. Subject to state regulations, eligibility, credit check, underwriting, and approval, and meet state database eligibility where required based on type of lending product requested. All products are not available at all locations. Rates, terms, and conditions apply. See associate for details. Lending decisions and funding times subject to system limitations. Some applications may require additional verification, which can delay the lending decision. Company is licensed by the California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation, pursuant to California Deferred Deposit Transaction Law, CalFin Code 23000 at SEC. After the game, join us on MLB Network Radio. We're talking baseball with you all season long on Sirius XM Channel 89 and the Sirius XM app. Over the eighth inning, Dodgers trail the Cubs here in game one. 9 7. Michael Grove still in the game. He's facing the third baseman, Nick Madrigal. Madrigal, two for three today with an RBI and a run scored. First pitch to him at ball one. Let's see, even with the bag at third base, a little bit off the line for the right handed hitter. 1 0. In for a strike call. One and one. Cubs and Dodgers, first of three here in Chicago. Start of a six game road trip. Pitch swung on, hit in the air to 
Left center field. James Outman shading the sun with his bare hand, which is over and makes the catch for the out. One gone. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. You're on the Los Angeles Dodgers audio network. It's opening week of Major League Baseball. Talk baseball all year long on MLB Network Radio, Sirius XM 89, and the all-new Sirius XM app. One out, the catcher, Jan Gomes, number nine in the order. He is one for three with a run scored today. Swings and fouls it off. Today's game brought to you by First Five California. One in three children are at risk of toxic stress, but there are things parents can do to help. Learn how to overcome it at first5california.com. Groves 0-1 pitch. Swung on, tapped foul over by the Cub dugout on the third base side. It's 0-2 to Jan Gomes. Nothing and one. First base side of the rubber is Grove. He steps back, turns, delivers home, and it's low. Ball and two strikes. Even though they've got the two video boards here, they still have the hand-operated scoreboard out in center field, which is always neat to see. Great feature of this ballpark. And the ground ball, that's going to be caught by Betts. He spins, throws to first. Freddie snares it on a hop. What a play by Mookie Betts to retire Gomes. Well, the athleticism is just off the charts. Going up the middle, you know, it's one thing to get to the baseball. Then you have to figure out a way to be athletic enough that you can actually make the throw. He turned his back to the infield. He made a you know, pirouette to the left and then throws it blindly to first base. Pitch now coming to Ian Happ. He'll take a strike. Yeah, that was a terrific play by Betts. And at the other end, too. I mean, Freddie Freeman works on those every single day. He works on catching the ball on a hop. Because you never know if you're going to get a good long hop or if you're going to get a short hop. And hauled it in with a backhand and held on and got Gomes. Two down on the 1 1. Hap swings and misses for strike two. Apps sixth inning triple the difference in the game right now. Scored two runs on it. It was an all or nothing play by Teoscar Hernandez coming in to try to grab a sinking line drive. And it hit the grass first and skipped past him. 2 2 pitch. And Hap hits a ground ball to the left side. Mookie is there. He's up with it. Long throw to first in time. He gets Hap by half a step. 1 2 3 go the Cubs in the bottom of the eighth. Last wraps for the Dodgers. We go to the top of the ninth. Freddie Freeman will lead off. The score, the Cubs 9, the Dodgers 7. Sirius XM's 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show. Experts from NFL Radio, College Sports Radio, and Fantasy Sports Radio analyze the top prospects in the NFL Draft, covering each player's time in college and how they'll transition to the National Football League. Touchdown, Washington! The Sirius XM Sports 2024 NFL Draft Preview Show, Wednesday night at 7 Eastern on College Sports Radio Channel 84 and NFL Radio Channel 88. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win your fantasy leagues right now on Channel 87. It's a home run for Ronald Acuna. From in-season fantasy baseball management to daily fantasy basketball to getting you ready for the NFL draft, Fantasy Sports Radio is here to help you dominate. How you manage your team day in and day out will be the difference in where you finish in 2024. Fantasy Sports Radio, your home for fantasy sports. Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. The NASCAR Cup Series is on Sirius XM. We're back on the track. Sunday, 2 p.m. Eastern. It's the Cookout 400 from Martinsville Speedway. Checker flag, baby. Yeah. On Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90. In the car. And on the all-new Sirius, Sirius XM app. Oh, yeah. Get closer to everything that moves you wherever you are with the Sirius XM app. Let's make some smoke and drink some beer. Yeah. Fantasy Sports Radio is helping you win whichever fantasy sport you play. Right now on Channel 87 and on the all-new Sirius XM app. 
Hi, this is Mike Tirico. Masters Radio returns Monday, April 8th on Channel 92 in the car and on the Sirius XM app. Pitcher on for the Cubs here at the top of the ninth inning. It is Albert Azale out of San Felix, Venezuela, 28 year old. He pitched on Wednesday and picked up a win against the Rockies. Here's a question for you. Everyone's wearing blue sleeves under their jerseys except for the pitcher on the mound. He's wearing red. Freddie Freeman takes outside for a ball. Yeah, it doesn't look uniform, does it? It's not. Red is a Cubs color, but. Everybody, Everybody make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you're new, join the channel. 1 0 pitch to Freeman. That's inside. Cars for Kids, no more stressing over your old vehicle. Donate it today, get it picked up tomorrow. Go to carsforkids.org. Cars with a K. I was alive. You get back to last year, threw a lot of strikes. Good fastball upstairs and sliders. And the pitch. And Freddie takes a strike. Now, Freddie today has walked three times, and he has scored three of the seven Dodger runs. So here, Tani has scored two. Mookie Bench has scored one. Oh, we'll take another strike. Two and two. Well, Smith has scored a run. He's on deck. Two two pitch to Freddie Freeman. He swings and fouls it off to the left. Not too many walks issued by Osley. In fact, for last year, he averaged two strikes for every three pitches he threw. Now he's going to be around the plate. He stretches, kicks, fires, and it's inside for ball three, three and two. Slider in that missed. Payoff pitch coming from Albert Alzelay. Here it is. And Freddie files it back again. Just his hat. Towing the first base side of the rubber. Sends the pitch home, and this one driven into right center field for a base hit. So Freddie Freeman aboard. There's the bloop, and now Will Smith. Can he provide the blast? Tying run coming to the plate. The first hit for Freeman, the fourth time he's been on base today. And Freeman has reached base in more than half of his plate appearances this season. Freddie leads at first. Here's Will. Will three hits today. He swings and uh, chops it foul at the plate. It was in fair territory, but came up and hit him. Looked like it came up from in front of the plate. Nothing in one to Will. So not out of the woods yet, but. You can see the clearing from the trees at this point. Down two runs, 9 7 in the ninth. Now the pitch. And Will fouls it back for strike two. Ryan Brazier continues to throw for the Dodgers in the bullpen just in case. Oh, and two to Smith. Shadows now. Cutting the home plate circle in half right down the third baseline. Another chopper. And after the slider, it got the top of the baseball. 0 and 2. Cubs have not gone to the basically prevent doubles defense as far as the depth in the outfield. For the most part, rather shallow. O2 pitch to Smith. And he looks at it outside and low. Another slider. One ball at two strikes. The third baseman, Nick Madrigal, is hugging the line. There's one step and a dive off the line at third. Which creates a little bigger hole to his glove side. 
pitch and will hits a ground ball right to his glove side he leans over stops throws to second not in time Freeman is safe and the Dodgers have the tying run aboard and nobody out and another good defensive play didn't look like there was a chance to be able to dive and knock that ball down not only knock it down had a fielding play and very close at first which is away from the fourth hit of the day for Will Smith. Well, time runs are on board. And Max Muncy is up. He is 0 for 4, three strikeouts and a ground out, facing the right hander, Adbert Alzola. Here's the pitch. And Max swings, hits a fly ball foul down the third base side. It'll drift into the seats for strike one. Top of the ninth inning, nobody out. Two on for the Dodgers, down two runs. Still a chance here. Will Smith has factored heavily into the offense today. Been on base four times. Not being held at first, he gets a good size lead. Freeman off of second. Stretch, and the 0-1 to Muncie. Swings fouls it straight back. Now he is in the hole, nothing in two. And again, Tim, the outfield is not particularly deep. Giving him the lines, too. O2 pitch coming to Max Muncy. Here it is. And Max Swings fouls it off to the left. Here at Wrigley Field are deep 350 down the line, and then the alleys at 368, 400 to dead center. 0 2 to Muncie. Swing and a high fly ball to center field. It'll be playable for Bellinger. Wins got it. He has to run in and make the catch, and Freeman cannot advance. That's the first out of the ninth. And the center fielder sees it off the bat. He thinks he's under it, but the wind continues to push it back toward the infield, so. Have to adjust with it, and Bellinger did just that. One out. Teoscar Hernandez has had a big day. Three hits. All of his hits have come off of right-handed pitchers. He has four runs batted in. And he swings, hits a ground ball toward the hole at short. Picked up by Swanson. He's got one play as to first. He bounces it there. Safe is the call at first. And the Cubs are going to probably want to look at it. First base umpire Mike Estabrook right on it, but the Cubs are saying yes, they want it reviewed. And Swanson went over toward the hole, squared up, and that uh, is a closer. Chicago play. is challenging a safe call at first base. And the ball has to be clearly in the interior of the glove. And it is a really close play. Will Smith will come out of the ball game, and Taylor Trammell will make his Dodger debut as a pinch runner at second as he represents the tying run. So the Dodgers getting some more speed on the bases. And we'll see if Teoscar Hernandez is safe or not in just a moment. Continue to show it, and the fans are. Their own judge at this point in time. After review, the call has been overturned. The runner is out. And Cowboys retains his challenge. So now the Dodgers are down to their final out. Call overturned. Two down, and the tying run is in scoring position. And Tommy Hanavi, the pitching coach, is going to come out and talk. The entire infield, including the pitcher. It looked like the Dodgers were going to load them up, but send it back to the replay operations center, and they determined that that call had to be overturned. And now two down in the top of the ninth inning. And the batter will be James Outman. So the game rests in James's hands. If he can get a base hit here, certainly the Dodgers are trying to send Trammell, a very speedy outfielder. 
Rodgers picked him up off of waivers from the Seattle Mariners a couple of days ago. And Jason Hayward went on the injured list. So here we go. It's up to Ottman. One for four this afternoon. He has a double. Housley, the right hander against the left handed hitting Outman. Here's the pitch. Swings and fouls it straight back for strike one. Nine seven, Cubs lead it. Dodgers with two men in scoring position here, top of the ninth. Outman ready in the box. Housley, the stretch, the pitch. Swings and it is lined into the glove of a diving Michael Bush. He makes the catch and ends the game, stealing a hit from Outman and perhaps the tying run scoring. The Cubs threw the leather around today. Defense really won this game for the Cubs. It was a high scoring game at 9 to 7, but the defense saved it without question. And the Cubs take the first game of this three game set. Final score Chicago 9 and the Dodgers 7. Rick and I'll be back to wrap this one up in just a moment. Game days are not game day without Tito's handmade vodka. Proud sponsor of the Los Angeles Dodgers. Time to hit the stands with a Tito's cocktail in hand. Order a smooth Tito's cocktail, rock that blue and white, and root for the home team with your favorite team spirit. Tito's handmade vodka, distilled and bottled in Austin, Texas. 40% alcohol by volume, namely 80 proof. Crafted to be savored responsibly. At UCLA Health, discovery and innovation lead to the best care. Our doctors and nurses work tirelessly every day to bring you the best experience so you can live your best life. It's why we're consistently ranked as a top hospital nationwide for 34 consecutive years by U.S. News and World Report. Go to UCLAHealth.org to schedule an appointment today at one of over 270 locations in Southern California. Once again, that's UCLAHealth.org. Every winning season is built on a strong team, a team committed to executing a solid game plan. At Security Benefit, we want to help you and your advisor build your retirement game plan to help you stay committed so that when it's time to execute, you know you've got a solid team behind you. When it comes to retirement, losing is not an option. Talk to your financial advisor to see how you can plan for retirement. Security Benefit, proud sponsor of the LA Dodgers. If you want baseball, the doggy has you covered. Tune in to Mad Dog Unleashed for the best baseball coverage anywhere. Weekdays, 3 to 6 Eastern. Sirius XM, Mad Dog Sports Radio, Channel 82. We gon' be all right. We gon' be all right. Do you hear me? Do you feel me? Final totals in the ball game this afternoon for the Chicago Cubs. Nine runs, nine hits, no errors, and four men left. For the Dodgers, seven runs, 12 hits. No errors and nine runners left on base. Drew Smiley gets the win in relief. 